Welcome to another episode of Talking Shop. Today we're joined by Dave the Angry Trucker. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let us know who you want on Talking Shop next. So uh, how are we doing then, mate? Thanks for coming. Yeah, living dream. Living dream. Really, really good, mate. Really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I, don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing here, to be honest. You know? <laughs> You've had two people on that I've got loads to talk about. What am I going to talk about? Yeah, I drive a truck. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's angry already. Yeah. That's, call me Richard, you know what I mean? <laughs> Give me an egg and no, they'll be, gonna... be egg all over this place. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right, so being a, being a truck driver then, road rage, do you, do you actually get like really bad road rage or is it? Oh, I get road rage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I, I can... That was a shit question, by the way. No, <laughs> I can get road rage, but... Um, and I have ways of getting rid of it. Yeah. Like just shouting at, you know, things in my truck. <laughs> just like, you know, just like look at someone and just go, it's your fault! <laughs> just like, not get out of the truck and have a go at them. But a lot yeah. of times people see me in the window and just see me just judging them straight away. Yeah. Like, I just don't, do not see this truck that I'm in, lad? Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> <He's driving up. laughs> I yeah. think people people play ignorant, you know, and you're, you're pulling on into like merging into it, just like, the truck's going to let me go in it. Truck's going to let me go. Oh. Truck's going to let me go in it. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's when you're coming up to a junction yeah. and they see you coming up and they think, I can get in front of this truck. I yeah. can do this. And then they stall. And you're like, well, I'm not stopping. Yeah. <laughs> so you best unstall it quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the face just goes from, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have air ons as well, so I'm blasting them. It's just yeah, like, yeah. I've noticed you, but I'm not slowing down, mate. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I always, um, I just sort of feel sorry for truck drivers at roundabouts or, or even to be fair, busy junctions where you're never going to get out. And then you can see, you can see it happening. You're, you're in a queue pulling up to the roundabout and you'll see a truck go. He's got to go. He don't go. He's never getting yeah, out yeah, or yeah, she. Yeah. And, uh, next minute, put people putting their arm on. Oh yeah. And yeah, he pulled out on me, whatever. Yeah. How are you supposed to pull out a 40 no, ton I've Arctic a, truck? I've talked to a lot of people. Like they keep saying like what, you know, they ask like driving questions. Yeah. I'm like, when it comes to a roundabout, just take the space. Don't yeah. let no one no. get this idea. Get just your elbows out. Get in there. If they try and sneak by you and they get hit, it's their fault. In yeah. the day. But if you're taking up, so there's two lanes and you're you're going straight on, so you can be in the left-hand lane, there's going to be people coming in this lane. Yeah. So you need to, you know, prioritise yourself. You need to make sure that you're not going to cause your yeah. truck damage or their car damage. So, mm. And they're all stupid. Mm. I mean, they don't understand what a truck does. When you go on the roundabout, even if you go on the outside lane, your trailer's still going to yeah. catch yeah. that yeah. middle lane. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's just like, take the space up, make sure that they know you're about to do a silly manoeuvre mm. and, you know, get on with it. Just mm. don't, don't give them a chance to be stupid. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, I've seen cars go under trailers because they're just not paying any attention. Mm. They're like, they're driving around corner and like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's, I'm in my lane. It's like, there's a barrier there. It's like, there's no barrier there, mate. It's going to yeah. come over and slap you. Yeah. What they don't realise is that overhang then is going to, yeah. going to yeah. catch them. I think not, not all trucks come with, uh, steering trailers, you know what mm. I mean? So. Yeah, exactly. I do it all the time. It's like, how like, the thing is, for me, it's the trucks against the trucks. If you've got a truck in the outside lane, and a truck in the inside lane, mm. and you're like, should I go? Should you go? And then you're yeah. watching each other like, yeah. but we understand what's going to happen. We're <laughs> yeah, like, you go it. first, I'll stay back. Yeah, that's that's it. It. Yeah, you know you're like, to... but then he's yeah, looking at yeah, you funny like, like hey? you, 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 yeah. Yeah. you, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's like, is it me or you? And he's like, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? <laughs> Eventually he gets started off and you're like, we're going to hit, we're going to hit. And he's like, we're going to hit. And we're going to hit then. Let's hit. Let's fucking hit. Let's do it. Get right out. And then you hit and you're just like, right. just, accepting the- <laughs> just accepting the fact that you're going to get damaged, mate. Okay, yeah. you're driving out of the truck, mate. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. So say, safe to say, you do get a bit of road rage then. Oh yeah, I get a Naturally, lot. Naturally, anyway. Just, that was that was going to be my question. Yeah, anyway. I do. I do get a bit of road rage, but yeah. Not as much as some. I'm not going to get out of the truck and you know start battering people. Yeah, you know I'm not. I'm not that bad. No, I'm no, just, no. You're not going to get out with a baseball bat. Yeah, I'm just very really vocal. Like I yeah. will put the window down. Yeah. Dickhead. <laughs> put it back up. It won't go back up. <laughs> just put it back up again. I'm not going to get out and go. Come here. Come here. You. Wind it down. Wind it down. You're like like a little old woman. What's up? Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? 
for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we were taking, nice. talking about this with Nate when he came on, and uh, imagine him getting out of the car and like, oh. he just picked a picked a fight with the wrong one. <laughs> he, he, even well, I'm I'm not small. I'm about six foot two. Yeah. I think he's about six foot three or something. And, just him walking at the side of you is like a hazard. Yeah. Mm. Like I keep, I keep calling him the ginger back gorilla. Cause yeah. I'm just like, you know, he's, his arm swings, you're yeah. knocked over. I'm just like, all right, calm down. It's like, yeah. this is, this is a pathway, mate. Yeah. You know, you know how these work. Yeah. Road there. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> when we did our, uh, when we did our picture outside, when he pulled me in for the picture, he's like, right, come here and let's huh? do it properly. He, don't, he, don't know he his pulled me strength. in, he almost put me in A&E. He'll break a rib, he will do. Yeah. I think the best thing is like these truck shows we go to, there's, there's <laughs> him. There's a trucker, Sean, uh, he was he's like his best mate. To be honest, like they're a duo, they come yeah. together, you know, they go together. And um, it's just, when they're two together, it's dangerous. It's like, we all go for a drink around bar and you see them two looking at you like, I'm going to get hurt soon. He's just <laughs> looking at him like, he's like, right, let's go over there. And I don't want, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they're Jeez funny, it's just, they're both big lads and they're just, knock you about and he's just mm. like oh, come on i just want to just chill just want to yeah. have a drink mate and he's like no 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 not today it's like yeah. you try and go to bed that's it you're not going after, to bed <laughs> no. after this we're doing 12 rounds yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no nah, it's uh to be honest since i started doing tiktok i i, I want a social person at all I, I, I didn't like being social i spent most of my time in the games room yeah mm. and then um i got tiktok and i met all these at truck show i thought these aren't gonna like me at yeah. all they're not gonna like me because mm. all, all i am on tiktok is this loud annoying smashing eggs strap myself to seats and all like he's an idiot <laughs> <laughs> so the first time i met uh sean and nave i'm thinking there's no way these two are gonna like me and they both said you're right you know what nave's like yeah proper bands the accent you're right <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like you're right man how are you doing he's like dave the mild trucker much i'm what are you talking about he's like you're not angry at all and now every time i see him they're all saying the same dave the mild trucker dave the not so angry trucker i'm like crying out loud yeah. but since then it's, it's weird it's like i've become really good friends with nave sean mm. uh jack uh, sandy and pretty much on all now yeah and uh i'm more social because of it so it's done mm. loads of my social anxiety yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. i don't like i didn't like meeting new people no but now it's like i go to a services and i'll just be fueling up and this guy will walk by and i'll just see him and call me i be like oh. that's him yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So you're just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to talk? Come over yeah. here. Yeah, I'm yeah. So angry now. Do you get Do you get recognised much? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's <clears throat> weird now. Like people, I've I've been there going that motorway, you know, fifty six, just cruising, and then like a yeah, scan your V eight. <laughs> 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 go inside of me, it'd be just like that. It'd be like going by me, and they just put brakes on. They'd be like. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're in right, your traffic. He's yeah. like, so I say, ha ha. It's da 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 Dave and he's da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's weird now. Like I, anywhere I go, I'll get like someone saying, "You're Dave off a of TikTok, aren't you?" Yeah, and they'll give me an egg. Yeah, mm. like what's this for? Yeah. Are you gonna do it? What are you gonna do? The amount of times I've done it as well, it's like oh, you know, I'll oh. fall for it. It's like they'll, they'll give me an egg and they'll just stare at me like you know, put like a puppy. Like yeah, <laughs> do it then. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Fuck it. Why not? Oh, <laughs> 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 At the time I did it, I were a truck show, uh, and Shannon's truck, trucker girl. <laughs> she her truck would just pristine mm. clean. She spent all day cleaning oh, it. Man, it was going. fucking pristine. <laughs> And I'm just there, and these guys are watching me. I went, I fucking, poof, and this egg blew up. I was covered in egg. These were all covered in egg. And I looked at Shannon's truck, and it was just egg all over it. I was yeah. like, uh oh. And she just came out and went, I've just cleaned that. I went, Oops. I know, but these want me to smash an egg. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't help it. Going um, just on the like the whole anxiety thing, because it's something for me. We were talking about this mm. on our last podcast as well, especially like, in sales, people that expect you to be these mm. like really brash person, confident person. Mm. Mm. And the amount of times I go to customers like, oh, I don't know what to say. And I'm mm. like, you've been busy then. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I've, I've, I've brought the weather with me or mm. I've not brought the weather. I, like, oh, I hate starting yeah, conversations. I, I don't like small talk. Small talk. No, no, no. And in our, in our industry, it's a, it's a weird thing that, you know, you think everybody's like a typical bloke, mm. like all these drivers, all these mechanics, all these technicians. Mm. But mm. yeah, it's not really a talked about thing, is it? People having like mm. social anxiety. Or... I'm one of these people, I prefer a text or a phone call. Yeah. I can't, if you're going to call me, make it quick. You know, yeah. say like, you're right, Dave, what are you doing? I'm just doing this. All right, see you later, mate. All right, cool, cool, cool. And it, but I can't deal with people on the phone. Like, so I had this one, I had this one guy who used to work with us and he used to call me and he used to be on the phone for three hours. And he wouldn't even be talking. I'd be driving. He's still there. 
Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Just, yeah. just, just say something. That's all I said. No, to talk about, is it? Then put the phone oh, down. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Rather listen to me, Britney Spears or something. <laughs> it's just like, all right, I'll best get going then. You could have gone an hour ago. We had, we've literally not talked about anything. It's like, yeah, yeah. like we, I went to, I've been to a services and like, look, won't you like, oh, like, not, not services, like, I'll go to deliver, a delivery point. Mm. And the driver over there, and come back, he goes, ah, day. No, <laughs> you know, a normal day. And it's just like, how are you? And I have this thing where if people ask me how, how I am, I'm just like, living the dream. And yeah. they're all like, really? I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> no bosses around me. Yeah. <laughs> living the dream here. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, I, just, I tend to like, they'll have a conversation. It'll be like proper trucker talk. Hmm. It's like, I, I, I like trucking. I enjoy trucking. I enjoy driving that. But you start talking about, you know, numbers and stuff on trucks. Like, oh, have you seen the... Uh, Scan your five sixty seven fucking whatever. I'm just Dash like five. <laughs> it's a Scania. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah, but it's it's the new Scania. I'm like, yeah, but I don't know what I don't know. What, I, I know it's a truck. It drives forward. I don't know what it has on it. You know, it's yeah. just like yeah. they try and get like because I'm obviously you know doing this now. They're all thinking that I know a lot about trucks and yeah. I don't. No. I'm just like I drive a truck. I enjoy driving a truck. I know where the lights are. I know where the handbrake is. Mm. That's where it stops. There's a, like in the in the Mercs, we've got these stupid spanner things. I'm like, I have no idea what that does. It keeps coming up like, you know, spanner. I'm like, no idea. I'm not even gonna ask. I just don't know. But you ask like a professional, he's like, oh yeah, that, it yeah. calls someone. <clears throat> does it? <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> I've it. it a few times and no one's yes. gone. <laughs> one of your um, points, if you're gonna get into trucking, one of your first ones is passion for it. Mm. So, you're not mad on trucks per no. se, the actual trucks itself. How did you get into driving that? I got into driving through my mum. My mum was, um, she owned a business uh, delivering pet beds and stuff. And she wanted a seven and a half ton driver. So I went, I was working for security at the time. I've been spending five years in security and I hated it. It was awful. And uh, she says, do you want a job? I says, well, I've been expecting it a while ago. I thought you'd offer me a job when I first, you know, were able to get a job, you know, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so she says, I'll get you a seven and a half ton. So I went there and she says, oh, it costs 100 pound more to get you class two. So I got me class two. Um, drove seven and a half ton for about three years and then business shut down. And I got myself into working for home delivery uh, next. Honestly, it's the worst <laughs> job I've ever done in my life. It's not that bad. It was good when I started, but you know, four days of lifting sofas into people's houses and you know, going upstairs like three story houses. And it's just like, you take a lampshade to some people's houses, like, here you go, mate. He's like, okay, take it up to attic. And it's like, it's do it yourself, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? But um, yeah. yeah, I decided to leave there. And then I never wanted to do class one ever because I just thought it looks hard, it looks dangerous, and I'm not confident enough to do it. And me mother-in-law, Leslie, and me father-in-law, Stephen, they says, do you want your class one? And I'm like, I can't really afford it because it's expensive. And they will pay for it. I says, well, screw it, let's do it then. Why not? We'll have a go. I got a class one and I haven't gone back since. You know, I, yeah. I would never get back in a rigid now. It's, it's weird, like you get a rigid and you think class one must be harder than this. It's not. I mean, the reversing part's harder, yeah. but driving it is so much easier. Like you can spin around easier, yeah. you know, you can, <clears throat> It's, and it's better, it's comfier as well, more space. And since then, I just, I won't look back because I've done the jobs where I've worked in an office and I hated it, mm -hmm. I couldn't stand it. You know, I don't like being in a box. <clears throat> and then I've gone to this job where every day I'm out, I'm on my own, get to choose my own music, get to do what I want. You know, as long as I'm doing the job, but I get to see all the sights, I get to see, yeah. you know, sun go up, yeah. sun go down. Um, oh yeah, was, I was saying, you know, um, you know when you were uh, delivering for next and stuff, mm. I had this weird thing, I, and I'm not a big guy anyway, so obviously it was hilarious anyway, but these two blokes came over, delivered a bed at our, our house. And I just, there's this weird thing about letting people in the house, stuff. I don't know, it's just mm. awkward. I, I, are you busy then? Like, again, this whole yeah. situation. I was like, oh, just leave it at the door. And they sort of looked at each other like, <laughs> yeah, all right then. <laughs> and, a, and a sofa as well. I was like, yeah. oh, just all right, just leave it there. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. mate, it must have been hilarious. If they could have just stood there, watching me trying to lift this bed and it's so <laughs> <laughs> in the house, right? no, but I can do it. I'm, I'm dragging it up the stairs like and, and my missus is going just wait for I'll, I'll help you when I get home like nope I'll do this <laughs> I'll be fine <laughs> I think the worst thing about that job is like you would expect both people that are there to be professionals at the job yeah, yeah. but a lot of times because you know people leave all the time because yeah. the job's strenuous you get a lot of new lads like I when I did that 
we went to this brand new build with a three-story house and we had to get a three-seater sofa up the stairs and at least stairs were like this you know like yeah really shit so we got it for the door easy enough got it to the stairway and this new kid's like uh so how do we do this then he says well you see those stairs yeah go get it up there and he says all right no worries i said so i'll go up to the top so i can guide it around all you do is you're just a lift you're just a push all right yeah. so just lift and push around i'll guide it around all right so um we're doing it and this guy the owners behind us is like do you think it'll fit? I says, yeah, yeah, well, we've had them up these before, easy. But this is where I've had a professional, like not professional, mm. but someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. Anyway, this uh, kid's like, he's going out. I said, right, mate, you need to lift and push, lift and push. And he's lifting and pushing. And I all hear this. <laughs> Did you just lift and push it into the wall? <laughs> he oh, just went, no. uh, I don't know, I can't see. I went, what do you mean you can't see? He said, well, there's dust on the floor, but I can't see what I've done. <laughs> it's just oh. like, Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm looking at the owner. He's like, "What's going on?" I says, "I don't know, but Probably I think he's just gone through your plaster wall, wall mate." And yeah. it's like, "Oh well, he, he's done damage. Might as well do it." I says, "All right, fair enough." So anyway, this kid keeps on pushing, and all I can hear is just digging Digger. further and oh, further in. Know. We eventually got to the top of the stairs, and I look down. I'm like, "It's like a werewolf spinning in a house." <laughs> you know, what I mean? it's, like, <laughs> it's like someone's just raged. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Good news is you save us upstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Edward Scissorhands has just been here, just yeah. walked up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I just, well, mate, I say it's a lovely sofa. I say it looks really good in your room, but your staircase is a mess. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah. Well, we've had somewhere. Obviously, you've meant you meant to measure these things out. Like mm, you know, yeah. you want you want a four seat sofa mm. up somewhere. You need to measure see if it yep. gets through the door and that. Yeah. But the amount of people that don't measure it, and you get mm. there and you're like, it's not going to fit in there. It's like, oh, it will, it will, it will. It's like yeah. it's, it's not, mate. It won't fit in there. And it's like, oh, I'll take the door off. Mm. Right, you take the door off. Oh, I'll take the frame off. How far are we going to go with this? <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm only meant to be here for like 40 minutes. So I, actually, I'll take the wall down. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take we have one guy literally take his window out. Yeah. He's just oh, like, oh, just wait a minute. And he's like pulling th his window apart. Like, what are you doing? He says, I'm a window fitter. <laughs> I'm like, are you now? He goes, well, I am today. <laughs> <laughs> window just falls out. It's a brilliant here, lads. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. That's a you problem. Yeah. But the thing is, we're doing that job. You're timed as well. Mm. So you might be given a certain time to get the job done. Whereas the place, like a lot of places, if you if you do something early, they love it. Like the job I'm working now at Kenneth Owl is, if you do the job quick, they love it because they know you can do another job. Yeah. Whereas places like that, because you set times, if you're too quick, mm. they hate it because you're back too early. They're like, right, give him more work. Yeah. yeah, it's like no, I'm quick because you know people have like said leave it outside or you know I've I've been able to make up time because people have yeah. you know told me to just leave it. How how did the how did the character how did the angry persona come about? It is, it, I always say it's my internal side. Yeah, you know like Richard obviously is just me. The thing is I was named Dave in high school. I yeah. was named Big Dave in high school because I was six foot two in high school. Like this has always been my. I'm pretty sure I was born this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Came out six, six foot, foot two. two eight like, years old. <laughs> I got called Big Dave at high school by some random. I just went, oh, it's Big Dave from the Pot Noodle Lover. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> so anyway, it carried on. And um, I eventually got it down from Big Dave to Dave. And then mm. that's just pretty much went all the way through uh, high school to college. And um, yeah, I mean, mum hated it, honestly. Yeah. I think I did it just to piss my mum off. Yeah. Because <laughs> people used to come to my house like, mum up, mum up at door. Like, yeah, all right, mum was very, very posh in that. Like, she's got, she got a, I call her the, uh, what is it? The London Yorkshire accent. Hello, <laughs> how, are you, how are you? And they open the door it's like, uh, hello, good young sir, what do you wish to do? And it's like, is Dave in? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> is he on? Good day. <laughs> of course my son Dave. Goodbye. <laughs> Shut up. And then they knock again, it's like, is Richard in? <laughs> oh, Richard, I know, yes. Richard! <laughs> Every day she'd be like, you was christened Richard. I'm like, mum, you name me Richard. Yeah. That's, that's a long way of saying dick. <laughs> and she's like, well, you are, aren't you? <laughs> it's like, fine, whatever. So yeah, um, I did it inside of TikTok. My original name was uh, Richard the Trucker or something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, this just sounds wrong. And I did a video where I got angry. Basically what I was doing is I was trying to turn around in a, on a road. I wanted to just do a spin round and the, there was no traffic. Mm. I did a video like, all right, today we're going to do a, you know, a jackknife turn in the middle of the road. And um, as soon as I turned the engine on, 16 cars, there's just cars coming everywhere. I'm like, I just lost it. Of course, and for every time I turn this fucking truck on, it's like, it's the alarm systems go off in everyone's car. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and I was just like, so I put it up. I eventually did it. I put it up and everyone just thought it was funny as fuck. Like, oh, this is hilarious. This. Mm -hmm. So I went, right then. 
Dave the Angry Trucker. Yeah. It's like, pisses me mum off. Yeah. <laughs> it pisses everybody else off. And it just, it just took off. It was easy, easy to do. Mm. Especially because I were called Dave in school. It just fit. Because it's yeah. like, our last story said, you've got two parts. You. You've got Richard, who's mm. a nice, caring husband. Laura's my wife, by the way, just in case you don't know. Yes. Hello. Um, <laughs> so Laura, uh, Laura says, you've got Richard, which is the nice, passionate husband. You know, he's very loving, you know, very kind and sweet. I'm like, oh yeah. And then you've got Dave's a dick. <laughs> it's like, you'll beat your kids and stuff like that. You know, it's like when kids walk through, no, walk past you. Get out of the way. You know, it's just like, yeah, so you've got Richard and Dave. So I'm like, all right. And so that kind of helped yeah. as well. And I just thought, you know, Dave the Young Truck is my internal persona. Yeah. Mm. And um, it literally is. It's like everything I do on TikTok, uh, that's to do with like being angry in that. That is That's what Dave. I'm like. Yeah. yeah, it's like the um, the banksman reversing with banksman behind me. That is me. Yeah. I might not get out and do yeah. that, but that is me in my head. Just yeah. like, I, if, if I had the balls, yeah. I didn't care about my job, I would get out and slap you silly. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've hit that. You saw me hit that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just let me do it. No, yeah. mate. Mm. But, um, Nah, I, I, to be honest, I love my company. I love, well, not my company, but I love the company I work for. Yeah. Proper sound. Yeah. Uh, they've been through worst of it with me. And uh, like obviously I got intro with um, traffic commissioner. Mm. So you, you learn the hard way, but now I'll tell you what, I am the cleanest driver you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. I might be angry, but I am the best cleanest yeah. driver. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, yeah. What was that like at the time when it when Oh it mate, honestly, off? I didn't smoke before. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't, I quit smoking when my first son, first son, <laughs> my, my first born was yeah. uh, born, my son. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically what happened is, uh, what I'd done was bad, but it wasn't as bad as what I could have done. Yeah. So what I'd done is basically I was doing silly hours. I was driving down to Birmingham when I should have been, got to Birmingham, come back and I'd take my card out. Obviously it's recording on this. So mm. the good thing about it is the truck's still being recorded, so it's still getting mileage involved, but I'm obviously doing something illegal. Now I didn't know how bad it was at the time. Yeah. I thought it's a slap on wrist, don't do that yeah. again. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, Volsa had come to our yard and they basically said, we're doing an internal you know, audit and that. Uh. And the door, and I got a call off uh, one of Lasses, uh, Owlies, and says, uh, hey, do, you, do you know why you've took your car out so many times? Like they've caught three mm -hmm. months of it. And I says, what do you mean? She's like, you've been, you've took your car out like seven times. I went, all right, I says, how much mileage is involved? And she said something stupid, like 300 miles. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Uh, well, no one's ever pulled me up on it. And that, that was the thing. Mm -hmm. I was getting away with it because at the time, yeah. how Howley's now has changed completely. But back then it were it was, Run it being run dodgy and that. And um, yeah, basically, no one stopped me doing it. So I continued doing it. Mm. And basically, folks have called me up and says, uh, We need to see you. So I'm like, All right, I'm shit myself now. Uh, how bad is how bad is this? You know, so I got my phone Start out. Start Googling it. Oh. Start Googling it. Yeah. And it Worst says uh, prison time. It's like you can go to prison for it. I'm like, What? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm now sweating. Yeah. Like, this is bad. This, because mm -hmm. this is a lot of mileage, a lot of time. I, I've, Basically, I looked into what's the worst outcome. You could lose your license, your CPC yeah. license, your vocational, or you go to prison. I'm like, all right then. So I started smoking again. So anyway, I went to see Vosa. This was about a month after the court mm, was doing yeah. it. <clears throat> and um, I sat down with her. Lo I tell you what, Vosa, it's weird. Vosa, lovely in person, like in the office people, sat road, dicks, right? But she was lovelier. And uh, she says, um, right, you've done this. We need to find out why you've done it. So on... Four of the occasions, I did have, you know, an excuse like that one there, that's for shunting in the yard. So yeah. I took that into the yard. That one that's on break, someone else has done that. That I've been at the BP, so I've been local. So I think like um, a less than a mile away from the yard. I took it out because I would run out of time. I thought it'd be a better way of doing it instead of getting infringement, which obviously now I know you don't take it out whatsoever. You leave it and get the infringement. Yeah. Um, and the other two I had no excuse for, or the other three I had no excuse for. And um, I says, yeah, that's just me. Yeah, I just did that, yeah. And she goes, right, well, because it's your first offence, we're going to let you off. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, walked out like yeah. 10 stone lighter, like, wow, I just got away <laughs> yeah. that town yeah. and I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, wow. um, what is it? Uh, about a month later, the traffic commissioner called oh. and said, we want to see you. I'm like, what? I just been through the ring. I thought, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd completely got over this. Like, I'd stopped sweating about yeah. it. And that. I, I was like, I'm finalist. Because during this time, I used to obviously used to do nights. I'd stop doing nights altogether. Because I was like, I was stressing out that much. Mm -hmm. like, I don't mm -hmm. want to mess up. So I'm not doing nights. And um, yeah, traffic commissioner called and says, what well, I see you. So then he went down there. Now, I'm not, I've never done anything like that. I'm not sure what it's like. And then when mm -hmm. you get there and you see this big, yeah. 
like a what you call emblem, like yeah. like a court emblem. I'm like so official and yeah, like, this oh. is serious. I'm yeah. expecting like a guy with a wig to walk out. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> a proper judge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm sat there, and this guy walks in, and he goes, uh, "All right, Richard, do you want to step forward?" Because there were me and two other lads, and obviously uh, Owlers as well, because they were getting done because they hadn't been telling us off, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so he goes, "All right, let's start with worst first, Richard." <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked up, sat down. You sat basically right in front of him. You're looking up at him, you know, like, yeah. thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, no, sir. <laughs> Forgive me for all my sins. <laughs> and um, I'm sat there and he's like, all right, Richard. So uh, you know why you're here, don't you? I says, well, yes. Um, so uh, do you know what the worst case scenario of all this is? And I says, well, I could lose my CPC license. Um, mm. Obviously, I can't get, a, I don't think I can get a fine anymore because I think Bosa would have wanted to give it a fine. Oh, okay. Um, so, stand for him. And he says, right, well, no, actually, you're wrong. See, if you do more than three, then you will lose everything, right? Oh. If, we, if you've done enough to clown as being <sighs> extremely dangerous, yeah. I'm just like, yeah. <sighs> and he said, it, it's, I'm all, I'm very honest, me. I'm always honest. Mm. And uh, he says, he looked me in the eye. He says, right, this is three months we've caught you. And it's been every month we've caught you. Now, if I look further back, mm. will I find more? <clears throat> now, everyone else would have gone, <laughs> no. <laughs> Literally, you've just got me there. I just went, yeah, you probably would. And he just looked at me like, wow. Yeah, mm. this guy. You've yeah. just admitted to that. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, that a bad thing. And he's like, I've never had no one like admit to being worse than what they are. Mm. And I was like, yeah, if, if you will probably catch more. And he says, well, thank you for your honesty and all that. And, uh, you know, go sit down. <laughs> so I went back and I left thinking I'd lost my job. I thought that's it. Me well, you would, naturally. Yeah, 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 I thought I've I've probably messed up here, you know. Yeah. And uh, I got a call that day, the same day saying, I'm giving you a warning. I says, I'm getting a warning. He says, yeah, that's all you're getting, just a warning. Mm. I was like, wow. I am, I don't know, someone, someone somewhere. Yeah, it's you know, he's just looking, was looking at me yeah. going, you're safe, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, he did say while we're there, he also said he has to look at your like previous three since, you know, you've been there. So obviously I've been there and he's checking the recent logs and he says, you haven't even got one infringement here. Yeah. So you've obviously learned from your mistakes. Yeah. I said, yeah, he says, I didn't realize how bad it I was just as honest as I could be yeah. with him. Like, I, I had no idea how bad it was. All I was thinking, just get home and see my kids, you know, because yeah. they were at the time, I think they were one and three mm -hmm. and I was barely seeing them because I was doing so many hours. Uh, I just wanted to go home and see them. Yeah. And I think he sympathized with that as well, especially during, it was during COVID, oh, you was know, it? not many drivers out yeah. there anyway. So I think you're thinking, well, you know, we needed the drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, since then I've been <clears throat> spot on. No. Yeah. And obviously we Howley's as well. Howley's completely changed as well because they'd been told off. Um, and now we've got some new margin, Gainer, who's absolute legend and Arthur. Um, and they're running it so tight now it's yeah. like you know you don't want to have like before you could walk through in your like your pajamas in the yard and you'd be like all right everyone yeah. you all right dave but now it's like if you're not when you have they're outside like Oi! yeah ivis yeah. get <laughs> like them steel toe caps oh on. proper they're proper yeah. on it and the the owl is just completely turned around now it's, yeah it's a respectable place to work yeah, and yeah. I, I keep saying to him like i've been I've, since doing this tiktok i've been offered loads of jobs and i keep refusing them i'm saying the main reason is I'll never work for a big company ever again. Mm. This is I will only work for a small family company because mm. Gainer and Arthur, Arthur's the MD and Gainer's, I think she's like shared MD with him. Uh, they're both owners and that. And they're willing to talk to you. They'll come and talk to you and you can go and talk to them and the proper like, you know, open like open door, you know, come in yeah. and talk to them. You want the proper sound. And yeah. when you go to like these uh, Christmas dudes, they're there and they're enjoying the time with you. They're the proper down to earth people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas you work anywhere else, you try and talk to a boss and they're like, well, you've got to talk yeah. to manager's manager, yeah, to that manager, to your manager. It's like, really? I just want yeah. to talk to him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're just another yeah. another number. But absolutely the, love, um, love it. The, I mean, the fact that you you sort of, let's say, got away with it or mm. got a warning or whatever, mm. however you want to look at it. Mm. I always find, I, I understand why they do that because, mm. okay, let's say they took everything from you. They slap you with a massive fine. They took your license off you. you know, that's it. You lose your house, you know, how do you feed your kids, et cetera. You know, mm. you, it puts pressure on you and the missus. Who wins? Yeah. It, open, it opens your mind. Who it wins? Does. Yeah, it, and it I think opens it. because you've come away with this story now, and if you're anything like us as well, you 
I, I, I'll I be in bed sweating about something. I won't sleep. Yep. That's <laughs> it now. And um, there's been times where I've had something going on in my life and I'm like, and I'm waiting for this, ju- you, the judgment day. Mm. And you think, and that's worse. Yeah. You've almost done a sentence. <laughs> You've almost it. done, do I you know what I mean? But that's just, the punishment, isn't well, it? Yeah, that's between. the punishment. Yeah, you're and they sw- know you're that. You're sweating before it. Yeah. Like, yeah, they like, know that. They, it's like, because mo- it's not until like a month <laughs> before you see Volta and then it's like an yeah. one month you see traffic yeah. commissioner. Yeah. So you, you've shit yourself, like, they check the three months and you've got like a month waiting time for them to like sort yeah. everything out and then you've got to go and see them when they tell you to and it's like yeah. you are sweating you're like this is bad going to bed every day going because I didn't tell my missus I didn't oh, I, did I, you not? I didn't That's tell the, no one I kept did it to myself probably help yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. I'm going to bed and she's like you're alright I'm like I'm fine I'm fine it's like yeah. why, are you sli- why are you sleeping I'm like I'm, I'm fine I'm just, yeah. just leave it out leave it just, out just been a day and I got drunk one day <laughs> oh. <laughs> with my mum and uh I don't know what it is my mum. My mum gets everything out of me. It's weird. You know, yeah. you know when your mum just comes to you and goes, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my jam. Uh, no, I were at a caravan and I had a few pints like, and uh, I just came out of it. I says, uh, I might not have a job by the end of the year. I was like, what's happened? I said, I've been caught by Vosa and that. And that way she was stressing out loads. I was stressing out like yeah. she never told her. But yeah, since it all got over and done, we're like, oh, as soon as I told her, like my, my wife yeah. and my mother, everyone knew people called me up like, you're right. I'm like, fine, yeah. fine, just believe yeah. it, it's fine. Yeah. It'll get sorted, it'll get sorted. Yeah. And uh, after that, when I got, got away with it, which I obviously I didn't, because I'm still living with the scars now. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, uh, they're all like, you got lucky, didn't you? Says, no, I didn't get lucky. Says, I've, mm. Honestly, I've gone back to smoking. Yeah. I'm worse off now. Yeah. You know, it's, can't imagine what people like on death row. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. awful. Now, also flip side to that is now you've got to be squeaky clean. Oh, yeah. You've got to, you're constantly yeah. thinking about well, it now. That, that one of the warnings, he says, look, uh, we're going to give you a warning this time. If you get caught doing anything, this yeah. will be put on top of it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like uh, anything I do now, if I like say, I don't strap an ADR load out yeah. and it all falls out of the curtain. Uh, you know, and lives so are gone. It, you know what I mean? Too, yeah. It's like, oh, so you've pretty much put everyone's life in danger for not doing that. Yeah. And also this, on yeah. top but the way i thought of it it's like when i were doing it i was like oh, it's not that bad you know mm. I'm, I'm plenty awake i'm fine to do it and stuff but i didn't realize that if your card's out of that truck even if it, you take it out in the morning and you drive it whatever for, for an hour or whatever um and you have an accident and you've got your card in even though you took it out ages ago they will still do you because you're obviously tired you've done too much work or whatever and right. you'll get proper like shit on yeah. that yeah. and if you have an accident without it in jesus yeah, you're looking long yes. time, you know, bending over for soap. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. You, 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 you're running the risk every time you do, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. But we sit when we use the the jarters and we plug in stuff and we're doing demos, driving without card. Mm. Uh, you know, you, you, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's one of those yeah. Uh, to be honest, after that, now I'm like people. I do little TikToks about taking card out and then police coming and stuff like that. And mm. I'm trying to tell everyone, look, if you're a new driver, because you don't get taught nothing about your tackle. No at no. all when you don't even know how to like set it or anything like that so i'm like telling people do not take it out yeah you know make sure it's in make sure you do your right times this is like i try to teach me back to how to do it and it's like this is the most important thing because it's fair enough you know driving safe is important but this needs to be in because yeah. even if you drive safe and this isn't right so you'll get fined for yeah. it i can't remember who it was whose tiktok i was watching the other day um but they're, they're they were talking about these this taco again things you don't get told uh in a lay-by on break when he entered the lay-by Obviously, full full lay by couldn't get out of the way. Mm. Uh, he sat on his brake, um, and obviously, in the meantime, all the cars had gone out of the lay by, and he was stuck then blocking the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Cars were coming past him, pipping him, telling him, "Yeah, you've got to move out of the way." Mm. He's like, "I can't move this truck no. whilst I'm brake because if I if I move now, it's a, yeah. say it's, it's an error on the taco." Mm. And people on the comments say, "Oh, yeah, you can just move. It allows you to move into the lay by and mm. stuff." And again, if you do that, you're in massive trouble. Mm. No one ever tells you actually the rights and wrongs about yeah. these, these these cards. With a taco, if you if you are part of like that and you do move, you have like a certain amount. Of like if you get caught doing it, you know you mm. get done because you're still driving. Yeah. But you can move the truck like about For safety a foot reasons. or so yeah, like and right. then put it back on brake, and it classes it the brake. As long as you don't go into that. Basically, if your taco's saying um, something like you know you've done forty. 40 minutes yeah you've got five minutes to do if it gets to 41 while your wheels are moving ah uh, classic but if you are moving and it doesn't make it to 41 right you're eight right that's how you do it but yeah. it's risk it's, 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 it's a risk if you're at 44 minutes yeah. and you need to move out of way it's like you can wait a minute you yeah, know what i mean i'm not mo- i'm not risking 45 minutes for you exactly yeah you know what I mean? yeah because imagine moving to find out oh it's now now you're going to do half an hour again yeah 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 so it yeah. is daft I mean, yeah 
a lot of people, like, I knew one person who uh, didn't realise you have to do 15 and 30. So he did 13 and 15. And he's like, why am I getting anything? I've done my break. It's like, mate, no, oh. you can only do oh, it one way. way you can't, yeah, you can't exactly. swap it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you've done, a, you've done a 15 and another 15, basically. You need yeah. another 15, but you yeah. need to do half an hour. God, it's yeah. confusing. It's education, isn't it? You've oh, yeah, got to yeah. educate people yeah. on it. it. Is, there's a lot involved in it. Um, it's like a lot of people say, how do you do a split break? I'm like, don't, don't, don't do it. There's no, there's not worth to it. No. Um, there was one of them, like, if you have four hours break on the day, they reset somewhere. I forget. I don't even get into it because I don't do that much driving. I'm not no, like I don't do it abroad, to, yeah. so I just yeah. stick to the you know doing the standard work day, ten hours max driving, fifteen for working. But people are like, oh, how do I do this? I don't like. Just don't confuse yourself. Mm. You confuse yourself that much. That's You're like, it. oh, well, I've got me nine out, got me nine hours in yeah. now, so I can do you know so and do another nine hours. So I've done that eleven before. I'm like. You're confusing yourself because you're going like this, right? Yeah. So you have to go up like this, you're fucked, right? Mm. Just keep doing this, yeah. <laughs> right? Stick to what you yeah. know. But yeah, um, yeah <laughs> I've, I've had people like coming and saying, I think I'm uh, mucked up my uh, tacker in the morning. Like I've left it on drive instead of put it on break. What do I do? Uh, Just do a printout. Yeah, it's, show that you- That's the one yeah. thing. Mm. As long as you can prove that you've done a printout, put Cover why, yeah, put it on the back of it saying, uh, put the card in, forgot to put on break. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna yeah. wake up all morning just press no okay and just go oh shit. Yeah. Or you're gonna be at one point. Some my truck. I'm looking my truck. If if it stopped or turned off, it's automatically put on break. Uh, Most trucks don't do that. Uh, but if you're say you come in morning, you put your card in, it might automatically set it at work. Uh, so you press okay too many times, it puts you all the way working for all night. Yeah. And then you're like oh shit, what do I do? So yeah. anything you do now is gonna be overtime. Yeah. And. Uh, but yeah, it's just doing a print. Like, I've done it plenty of times where I've gone, oh, I've put in, uh, I've only done eight and a half hours break by accident, you know, because I've not worked out the times and stuff because I left it into overnight. And he's like, oh, um, just do a printout then. But if you get stopped by Vosa, Vosa will still try yeah. and do you. Like, yeah. well, I've seen you mocked up here. He says, yeah, but I'll print out. Yeah. You've got to improve that you weren't there that time. He's like, oh. I wasn't here then. I weren't home. I was in bed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. as long as they understand, it's not like every day. You know yeah. I mean? Really got to think about it, haven't you? you know, yeah. So. yeah. yeah. I always say it's like, people want to get a job like this. It's like, is it worth it? I'm like, well, it depends. How if do you feel about it? How do you feel about, you know, going out, possibly getting fined for anything? Mm. I mean, you could, you could go to work at Aldi's for pretty mm. much the same pay, mm. right? You may not, might not get as many hours. But you can get the same pay at Alley's and the worst thing you're going to get is slap up this to put mayonnaise with tomato ketchup in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. with us, yeah, every right. day is a constant. Mm, you could risk. get really badly fined. Like if you, like we got told uh, these IBCs now, because I deal with ADR, they've got to be double strapped. So you've got to double strap them. And it's like nobody carries, because you can carry a total of, what is it? 16 IBCs on a trailer. Is it 16? Yeah, full load 16, right? So, you can only carry 16 full IBCs. So that means if you've got to double them up, Thanks, man. then you've got to carry 26 straps. Gosh. It's mental. It's, oh, yeah. carries that many. I ain't got enough space for that. You no, know yeah. Exactly. Where do you keep them when you haven't? Yeah, and yeah. they're all like, oh, well, you've got to use two so it doesn't bend it. I'm like, I do it to bend it. Because obviously with IBC, you put it in the middle and I just strap it down until it bends the thing in half. I'm like, yeah. that is on now. And you do that, yeah. you know, that's that's perfectly tight. Yeah. yeah. But now they're like, they're being proper strict. Like, if you get stopped by a Vosa, because like you should have two on that. It's like I haven't got twenty six ratchet yeah, straps. Yeah, Where yeah. am I going to put twenty six? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally like you you you're on a pedestal mm. and don't and that and that we say this about driving. When you're in the car, I mean we're mm. in the car sometimes eight ten hours a day driving. Yeah. You know you're in a, a whole yeah. other world compared yeah. to what we're doing. But mm. you are running the risk with well your safety mm. for a start because yeah. of how dangerous it is. I mean we were on the way down to we've been in Jersey and the Channel Islands this week with Daff, but. Um, with Adam Tamori and we were on the way down on the A46 weren't we we've seen a an Arctic uh, God knows what's happened but he's come oh, off and just yeah. hit a tree and you know what normally wins that battle big yeah. tree yeah. and tree hasn't moved yeah this yeah. tree has just not yeah. moved and yeah. it's just obviously stuck and the cab is just squashed what in. a lot of people don't understand is like you don't have to go to work if you don't feel mm. well or if you feel mm. tired if you don't get enough sleep don't go to work yeah you're in a Big massive machine, you know. Yeah. If I wake up one day and I say I've been up all night backwards and forwards the toilet or whatever, so I'm gonna call work and say I'm not coming in today. Why not? Do you feel unwell? So I don't feel unwell. It's just I ain't had enough sleep. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. You're losing a day's work, but you're not putting people's lives at no. risk. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. You, ultimately, it's you. Yeah. It's yeah. you doing it. Yeah. yeah. So. It, in the day, if you don't feel up to it, don't do it. No. Because last thing, police aren't gonna say. So how come you had the accident? Oh, yeah. I fell asleep at wheel. Yeah. I didn't have sleep last night. All right, that's you in prison. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, with trucks, there's, there's no stopping. 
Yeah. If, if you've got a full load on, you're going to yeah. go through everything that's in front of you. Mm. Yeah. So you hit some of this just the same weight. Yeah, some of the videos you see oh, in, in pileups and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's scary. They yeah. don't, they don't, they're meant to push and pull. They're not yeah. meant to stop. No. <laughs> they don't no, want to stop. Don't stop very long. But um, I know, I know we, um, it's like saying with loads and that, a lot of loads we get because it's uh, waste. A lot of them like just put a string around it. Like you'll yeah. have like, you know, 48 barrels on. And they'll all be loose barrels. Yeah. It's like, what do I do with this? Yeah. It's like, get some, uh, get some, um, what do you call them? Parts on top of them to keep them sturdy. So you put parts on top of them and you tighten them up. But yeah. during transit, it's all going to move. Yeah, move. of course. You get back and you see, you can get to the back of a truck and you see all these like dangling mm. ratchet straps. You're like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, do, you, you do your best. Yeah, it's you do all your best. Like, if you don't feel safe driving with a load because you think something's going wrong, stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I always, I don't set off until I know that I can drive and go around the corner and think that's perfectly safe. Is that, yeah. don't need to worry about that. If I'm going around the corner going. Yeah. <laughs> looking both curtain sides, like is anything bulging? That's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I somebody going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too late then. Yeah, it's like it's do gone. You, do you find with like all the regulations, all the rules of the road, obviously your VOSA, DBSA, tacos, etc. Do you think that's played its part in, well, the lack of drivers? I think it's, it's that and the pay. It's mm. we, we, the amount of rules and regulations in place. Obviously, it's to keep people safe, but it's it's getting to a point where it's like, how am I going to do this safely now? You know, to their standard of safety. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's stress as well. You know, you, you drive. You, it's the one job where you're driving. Your, your workspace is shared with people that aren't professionals. Mm. You know, yeah. no, not every car driver knows no. how a truck works. Are you joking? Are you, yeah. Most, most of them. Yeah. In fact, one of the things that points I was going to make is, I don't remember anything when I did my theory or practical mm. on the dangers of hanging around between two arctics mm. or you know, or, yeah. or don't, pu don't. pulling in front of one to come know. off at the junction I that you've just all missed. All the time, and yeah. I think if you just what? knew <laughs> what, what the damage that what could that do. thing would yeah. do to yeah, you, yeah. If, you, they don't, they don't know where the blind spot is. Like, yeah. I'll yeah. slow down if I. Yeah. If I see a car in that area, I'll slow down so I can see his front end yeah. and then get him by me. But a lot mm. of them will just stick there. Yeah. And it's like, I don't, I can't see you, mate. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, if I want to go in there, because I'm going to yeah. have to come in eventually, yeah. you're going to get in front yeah. of the truck and that's how it happens, yeah. the pushing thing. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly how yeah. They sit there for minutes. I see it all the time. Middle lane, the sat there, side by side with this truck, which by the way, it makes me nervous. Like, yeah. I don't want to be anywhere near you in, no. your, in your truck. The monstrous thing, but you see, you see him sat there in the middle lane, literally right next to him. All it takes is that driver to just think about something else and, and then think yeah. indicator on and forget you there because well, mm. they sit there for a minute and they just yeah. don't understand. It's, it. it's the ones that undertake you, like you'll be obviously you've took over a truck. Oh yeah. no, sorry, the ones that slow and slow and start. You know those mm. yeah. nubbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get this all the time. Oh, yeah. You overtake them because they're going slow. You overtake them and they start speeding up. Yeah. They overtake you again. Yeah. Everyone, like, yeah. everyone keeps like going why are trucks always in second lane yeah, it's because yeah. that one guy yeah. is going like this yeah and you're you're, you're stuck at 56 you're you know yeah you're not pedal foot's not on pedal it's yeah. just 56 that's the max it can do and they're at 50 57 yeah. 50 and they're just doing yeah. this constantly so you're yeah. in and out behind them all the time eventually you get to a point where you know what, i'm gonna stick here yeah because i see a truck over there mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna stick inside of him Mm. Not speed up, so I'm, I'm doing safe yeah. speed, so you can't see me because it's no. when they see you. When they see you, that's when they speed up. They're yeah, all be yeah. behind you, so I wait. So I see truck. They've not noticed me now, no. and yeah. then truck will be here, and I'll be like, ha ah, now you're in there for good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you're stuck there now, mate. Nah, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, honestly, you can do it. I, I drove uh, from Scotland the other week, and this particular car in question must have overtook me over six or seven times. I set my cruise control at one, one yeah. speed, uh, and then it quite literally. Six mm. or seven times, just did yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Over talk, slowed down, oh, come back in. You'll see people who will see a speed camera and then slam their brakes on, <laughs> and you're like, "See ya." You obviously don't know what speed limit is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's and those then, ones that are like you see these smart motorways where it says forty. Yeah. Mm. So they're all doing forty. You're doing forty, and then you see your head. It's the national yeah. speed yeah. limit, and yeah. they're doing forty past Still doing like, forty. Yeah. Can you not see that? Yes. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm tall. I can see over everything. Yeah. But can you not That's see it. that? Yeah. That was the kind thing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. What's the rule? Like? You can't speed. Is it not? You can't speed up until you pass it. Yeah. yeah. So I always when hate you, that when you get to it. You see it like a mile ahead, yeah. and everyone's like, 
Are we going? Are we ready? Are we ready? Can we go? Can we go? And it's so a mile. Oh. Takes me takes me that long to get from forty to yeah. fifty six. <laughs> you don't like, have to worry about it. Sorry, right, by the time I get that, we're doing fifty six. So it does. Forty one, forty two, forty three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. My uh, weather is right or not, but my dad always says like, if you're if you're in a car and you're getting overtaken by a truck as well, going slow on a on a motorway, that is dangerous. Mm. And you do, you, I do see it sometimes where you'll see a car going slow, so trucks have to like, oh. I mean, I'll pull I, out and then he'll speed up again. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know, he'll change his spe- they'll change their speed mm. in the left hand lane, essentially undertaking the truck. Mm. Oh, it drives well, me bonkers. I love me nan. Yeah. But I hate all, all these pensioners. Honestly, driving, yeah. the, the driving cars. It's, it's always the same one as well. Like this yeah. closest yeah. steering yeah. wheel. Completely oblivious. <laughs> well, you know, and they're that no close. Idea. They can't see down yeah. there as anyway. And they're in the middle lane. Yeah. I know. Nothing else, I know. You know, inside, nothing else. Yeah. Just yeah. there, and I'm like, I can't undertake it because it's legal. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to have to because you're not moving. So you'll see, like, truck, I always feel bad because you're like, if I bang arms on, because I can see a fruit, like, little yeah. wing screen. I can see this, like, <laughs> white hair bubbling about. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, let's get to that. <laughs> I wonder how Bobby's doing today. <laughs> so I'm like, if I bang arms on, she's. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, let's not bang probably, arms on. You probably won't hear you. Probably won't even hear you. Can you imagine? Oh, my hair there. So I've got to stand behind, flashing lights, banging yeah. on, I'm doing this. And hands are off steering wheel now. I'm just doing this fucking guy. <laughs> uh, it's the ones that notice you. Yeah. Like, oh, what have you been a dickhead for? And then they slow down. It's like. Yeah. You were already going too slow as it was. Yeah, I know. I've had that before. Like, know. you know, you've seen plenty of space. So you say first lane, you go into second lane. There's plenty of space for you to get in there. Mm. As soon as you start pulling out, Audi driver. Yeah. So like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. It's like, slow down. You can see me yeah. pulling out. It's like, yeah. don't be behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it, well, I know. And then I, know. I, I had this, uh, the reason I say Audi is because yesterday I had an RS7. You know, really nice car, knobhead driver. And he's just like, <laughs> there's this, there's this uh, what were it? We're a co op fucking truck, and his back door wide open. You know, he had yeah. cooler on, everything yeah. just playing out. So I uh-huh. went outside of him, put window down, went, you don't know your back door's open, don't you, mate? And he goes, what? I went, your back door's open. Fucking frost coming out, snowing. <laughs> and he's like, really? He said, yeah, look at back here. You know, like you can see, this fucking white smoke coming out. I'm like, look, this is just people getting fucking frostbite behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, oh, thanks, mate. No worries, pal, no worries. <laughs> and then behind him, you've got this like RS7 driver. Yeah. Who's because we're talking, because like, I'm warning him, you know, yeah. you've got that door he open. You're messing around, he yeah. thinks we're messing about. Oh. They're banging on, on yeah. like, flash, flash, and all flash, that. Flash. I'm like, mate. You can see his yeah. back door. You yeah. can't yeah. tell him. No driver, no car. No. That's the thing. Can't see you. No car driver will ever no. tell you that's something wrong with your truck. No, no, no. no, no. It's no. a trucker that has to tell you. So yeah. if my back door's swinging open because I've been in a knobhead and not checked it by accident, yeah. car drivers will stride by going, nah, you're going to hit someone's car, you. Yes. Yes. Whereas a trucker will go, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what damage that can do. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 That, that, what I always say there's, a, there's only a few jobs that will lose you your job instantly. A few yeah. things that will lose your job instantly. And there's plenty in Hitting a bridge. Hitting a car with your door mm. and not checking your oil. <laughs> That's yeah. the three things. Well, three things. Yeah. <laughs> three things you'll get done straight away. Yeah. For. Or filling the diesel tank up with AdBlue or vice versa. <laughs> well, I, I, actually, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. I had a, I had AdBlue tank behind me, a truck, brand new. I just started. Yeah. And this, uh, the guy who had it before me left like a tub and I thought it was water. Oh, no. So my um, oh. radiator had lost all its water for something. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. So I put this tub in and I'm putting it in. And as I'm doing it, the sun just came around this cloud and went, I looked at it, I went, that's fucking blue. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck? And then I looked down and when it spilled out, it started turning white. I'm like, Whoops. I just put a blue in my radiator. Oh, <laughs> so no. yeah. I called, I called no. me guys that says, yeah, what does that blue do to a radiator? He goes, oh, not much good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crystallized. So, well, uh, it's in there. <laughs> yeah. Does it, does it, does it like disintegrate? He goes, well, it won't be there for much longer. You better get back quick. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, all right, no worries. So I uh, took it back and radio, you had to change radio because yeah. it had just clogged yeah. it off. I'm like, yeah, I can imagine. well, at least it were cold. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, done it was, its job. It was I'm surprised they didn't tell you, don't leave it there. We'll come to you, mm. drain it. It will liquid, it, 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 it will, no. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. no we ain't enough time to get back yeah, in get back luckily in. we're only about a mile away from yeah, where I yeah, itself, but that's it yeah. it's, it's Go- liquid of a sun description yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of, it had a bit of water it had a mix you know yeah, yeah. 10, 90 yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it'll do it'll do <laughs> we're fine <laughs> yeah. I've had worse yeah. Yeah. yeah on the road and this is this is one thing I find and actually you'll you'll, you'll find the same thing how do you maintain a, 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 you know a, 
a diet of any description on the road because you can't eat healthy yeah. on the road. You know, everything you come to is either a McDonald's, it's a KFC. It, you just can't eat healthy, can you? No. You know I mean, I, I, on the road all the time, what do you what You're do? You're not going to come off the M25 or the M1 or whatever yeah. to go pop to a supermarket. Yeah, go M and S. Yeah, go yeah. 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 salad, please. Yeah. 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 Plenty of bananas. <laughs> no, just nip uh, into wait- waitros. Yeah, well, no, we, you just can't do it. Warning: vehicle reversing. Just No, what? A lot of, before I got this truck because I, I didn't know I used to have a fridge. Most trucks don't come with fridges, so um, I didn't have a fridge before or a microwave. And I was buying, like, say, KFCs, and mm. I put about two stone on. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, you sat down pretty much all day, yeah, yeah. and then go into these fast food places. Even if you go to like, you know, uh, services. The yeah. sandwiches are shit. Oh, it's like, oh, you know I mean? You just can't do yeah, sandwiches. You try, and, you try and be good and get yourself a wrap. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh, turns it's out great. to be a soggy wet paper. Mm, yeah. Well. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Tape, and it tastes like paper. It, honestly, it's awful. Yeah. So um, I got myself a microwave and got myself a fridge. And I started bringing in like a microwave bulb, like from Morrison's and stuff uh, like that. Okay. Like rice, yeah. you know, yeah. proper food. Yeah. Not, yeah. not this, you know, crap. And... Um, but I'm tight, me. I'm tight. I won't, if I got a, if I got a McDonald's or Burger King, and I see it's like fifteen pound for me. I'm like, Pfft, no. Yeah. So I'll, I'll suffer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, I've, I don't know what it is when you, when I'm driving. I'm I'm not thinking about eating. Mm. You know, I'm I'm just like oh, I can I can last. Yeah. I can last. I it tonight. We do that. I'm Skip meals. Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't do that. No. No. You just think you know what? I could be home in three hours. Mon- monster. You can class monster as a meal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. 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 That's the that's the thing. I'm, most of my weight is just from drinking energy drinks yeah. <laughs> all yeah, day. Yeah. It's like yeah. 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 But, um, yeah, but you never want to though, do you? No. Yeah. Even in a car, you don't. Especially with the driving that we do, you don't want to pull over, get no. out, mess around. You yeah. know, getting your salad. Because you're forty your... minutes in, then. But yeah. you've stopped, got something, eaten yeah. it, and back yeah. on your way. You... That's the worst thing though. You got yeah. services. You're furthest away from bastard door. Oh, oh no! Yeah. So I'm yeah. just like, yeah. I, need, I need a McDonald's here, yeah. or whatever. You need to. Yeah. Go. You got yeah. water for it. You get to. You got forty five minutes. Yeah. You get in there. There's a massive queue. And you oh, get yeah. out. and You're like, well, I've got five minutes to eat this. To eat it. Yeah, yeah. And you don't get the privilege. That's why most drivers around because the food's still in the same position it went mm. in. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Still, yeah. The burger is still just, in there. It's just like, what? Yeah. Inhaled yeah. it. <laughs> Disconnecting yeah. the jaws yeah. and get it in there. I yeah. went to uh, Ireland recently and um, the services there are quite literally like restaurants. You yeah, go yeah. in and it's just so much better quality. It's not... A KFC everywhere. It's not a McDonald's. You mm. literally have proper sit-down yeah, yeah. meals. Yeah. You think for truckers and people on the road all day. So much better. That, that, well, one, one thing for me, if a services is off my route, so like if you're on say the M6 or whatever, and you got to get off to get to it. There's a very there's a very long distance mm. services in some places. And like oh service off at this junction, be yeah. I'll go around the corner a few oh, fucking yeah. times. I'm like I'm not doing that. Yeah. No, you know, like, I want to stay on this road. Mm. So I'm really lazy. I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not driving around trying to yeah. find somewhere. And then you get there and it's like you know no trucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the amount of times I've done that, I went yeah. I went to one. I went in there. He said uh, he didn't say no trucks until you got to the actual like oh, great, place. Awesome. And you're like you're driving in like well. I'm stuck now. It's like everything's too low. Oh, no. There's like a cost of coffee there, cars and trucks all there. Like, the drive through. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to get in here, but yeah. I'll, I'm like, I'm in now. Screw it. So I'll pull up, park outside Premier Inn. Like, you can't park there. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me. Yeah. Yeah. 45 minutes, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it is, it is a, a big issue on the road, actually. Yeah. Most of your followers on TikTok drivers, or is it a bit of everything? I have no idea, no. mate. That's psychos get- <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. angry people I do have a lot of truckers uh, a lot of truckers follow me and they always I'm, I don't know what it is with me I think my angry persona scares people off putting negative comments because I know a lot of people that do TikTok and they always yeah. get negative oh you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that mm. it's always negative but me it's like everyone's positive yeah. but I think it's like because the, the, the few times I have I think two or three people have mm. said something negative I've gone back at them yeah like, how would you do it then like one I yeah. remember I did a reversing video for training I was saying this is how you do a reverse in an angry way like right fucking do this fucking do that you know what I mean mm. and uh, we go out onto bay and this guy put up on <laughs> green light what are you talking about it's like green light on the bay uh, not green light red light on the bay yeah. you reverse onto a red light oh, you're not a driver you're shit I'm like you can literally see the guy in the bay yeah. doing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, he's saying, come yeah, here. He's yeah. opened door because the bay had been damaged ah. and people have been ramming the shit out of it. <laughs> so he, he's got the door up. You can't explain this on TikTok. Nah. This is the thing. You can't explain like why you're doing it. I shouldn't have to. No. Nah. But like, I'm reversing into the bay. He's like, oh, you shouldn't do that. It's stupid. Blah, oh. blah, blah. But uh, that, yeah, that's the only few I've had. But yeah, most, of my, most of my followers are really positive. Mm. And yeah, I, get, I got a lot of people like messaging me going, I'm thinking about doing my class one. 
where do I start? Well, first, get a license. That would help. Don't just get in a truck and drive. Um, <laughs> yeah. Give um, an eighthering. <laughs> they're all like, they're all like I, I've just started. I, how do I do this reverse? Mm. I always feel bad for them. It's like reversing, you've got to make a mistake. You've mm. got to, you've got to, Fuck up a few times before mm. you get it good. That'd be me. Yeah. You're not, you're, you're not, no one can reverse perfect mm. the first yeah. time. No. The way you get taught, the way you used to get taught in your tests and lessons, you did a shunt. Yeah. You, when I always say it's not a reverse, it's that is a shunt, right? Mm. A reverse is going around the corner like we used to do back in the day with car license, which yeah. they don't do no more. I think, I think the government just don't like reversing anymore. Yeah. No, no, just uh, drive. Just, just drive in. Just, <laughs> just drive straight forward, never reverse. Yeah. Whereas yeah, most, reverse into a juncture. I hated yeah, that They one. used to have to do that. Yeah. You'd have to yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. But I always said, I said lessons, you should have to do a reverse around the corner. Yeah. yeah. As long as, when you understand how the trailer works yeah. and how like, once the trailer's at this angle, if you're still at this angle, the you trailer's going to continue swinging round. Yeah. Like our training, like we have this new star called Margaret and she's never reversed before. She was properly like, anxious. She didn't know what she was doing. And I said, look, we're going to teach you how to do it, but I'm not going to say no. You're going to have to make a mistake first. So she showed me how she did it and she basically just completely messed it all up. Mm. And I went, don't worry about it. I did that before, you know, but I've hit loads of stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? But I am says, what you got to do is you got to, I got her a little toy truck. Well, these like, you know, ones yeah, that actually yeah. move. And I says, look, watch this. This is really good. I put it on, I says, watch out, see how it's reversed and see how that's still there. And that's there. If you continue pushing that back, where's it going to go? Mm. And the trailer kept on going around. I says, that's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. You need to get that, the caviar truck, the truck in front of the trailer quick uh-huh. as possible. Yeah. And we did it like seven or eight times and she, she got it bang on. She mm. got it straight and like, look at that. Because the theory that it's up there yeah. then, isn't it? Yeah. I, you know yeah. what, actually talking about this, I watched Jodie, Jack's of the Half, mm. um, obviously works in London a lot, doesn't she? Mm. And doing blind sign reverses oh. you know, in London. Yeah. When, as you said earlier, your cars are just no. all the time there. I'm thinking huge respect to be honest with you yeah. because that's that is, you've got that to is drive crazy. in london like how they do yeah. like you'll never get you, anywhere you, yeah it's the same i've noticed it's the same in uh like birmingham and manchester exactly the same mm. no one wants to let you do yeah. your maneuver mm. um we manchester there's a place i do in manchester where you have to reverse into a really narrow area and if you don't get out mm. then they're not gonna let you out nah. yeah so what i'll do is i'm driving that road and i'll purposely put myself in the middle of the road block everything up everyone's like annoyed because yeah. i'm doing it <clears> but it's like selfish. i'm gonna do something that's gonna put you at risk mm. yeah at least i know that they're safe where yeah. they are you yeah. know i'm i'm basically a teacher you know yeah. like stay back yeah. be quiet <laughs> fingers on lips yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. i'll be reversing and the reverse is basically a, it's a jackknife in mm. and the machine come around even though you're doing this. They're going to go for it. They're going to still oh, try and get no, around. It's like, drives me mad. I might have to pull forward first, yeah. you know, and they're doing mm. it. And you're, they don't understand that your truck's going to come around and swing. Mm. So they're just like this close. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Reverse yeah. up. I can't reverse this car's behind me. Yeah. You've just got to be selfish, yeah. haven't you? So, <laughs> yeah, I do that now. I just like, if I need to reverse, I'll be out of Millet Road. I'll be blocking yeah. the road up. Mm. I don't care. So you just grab do it. Yeah. Blind side, I always say never do it. Mm. With Jody, I think. I'm not sure if Jody's got these new uh, cameras for windscreens. I think you've got to with London now. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you've got to have 360 cameras. You've got, to think you've got to have like... I think uh, there's a mirrors from her videos. she got mirrors. I don't right. know. Yeah. See, I know, I've heard... Because she drives a scanny, doesn't oh, she? Oh, sorry, she camera mirrors. Uh, yeah, I think so cam- yeah. camera mirrors, yeah. Sorry, I know with these cameras, mirrors, it's proper, like mm. it watches you around. Like, Does it? Yeah. Wow. So basically, if your trailer's coming out, it watches the back of your trailer. The camera will like watch where your trailer is. Which is mint, you know, yeah, you can't yeah. do that with old school. No. Nah. That, I didn't know that. I used to think, ah, it's a waste of time. These, you know, they're getting knocked off so it cost thousands of pounds to mm. get repaired. And mm. then someone says, oh, it watches you, blind yeah. side. Okay. I'm like, that changes my Well, that's, that's yeah. changed my mind yeah. on it. Yeah. I want some. But um, yeah, I basically say to everyone, if you have to blind side, don't. So, yeah. uh, you know, or get someone to watch you. Yeah. You want, if you go into a warehouse and you need to go on that side, try and spin around and do it the right way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can see what you're doing. Don't be guessing. Yeah. yeah. Don't rush either. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to, if you think, oh, I don't know where my trailer is, get out and look at it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people will do that. They'll be too proud to get out. Wing it. Yeah. yeah. They'll That's be like, you know, there's, people, there's truckers watching them. Yeah. Those truckers aren't going to stop you. A lot no. of them will just, like, they're really nice people, yeah. but they want to see disaster. Yeah. That's it. They want to see you fuck up. Yeah. So, like, you're reversing around and it'll be like, oh, I'm pretty sure I'm safe. I'm nowhere near that trailer. He's yeah. like, uh, <laughs> so yeah. about the tea room, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah, like yeah, 20 yeah. gram gone down river. <laughs> oh, Just took out a fridge unit or something. Yeah, yeah. oh dear. But yeah, no, I've, no. Uh, I remember I tried I tried doing that. I had to blindside this reverse. I thought, I'm not doing that. I'm going to spin it round. So I tried spinning my truck round. Didn't realise I had like, you know, about 26 tonne of product on the trailer. So I've, I'm jackknife. Now I watched my trailer in car at a minute. It just went, 
All right. Yeah. That's got to go over. That's got to go over. Yeah. And these drivers are watching me going, go over, go over, go over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can see them all. Like, yeah. they're not saying, no. This yeah. is, they've seen it wobbling like this. And it's yeah. liquid on it. Yeah. So it's just, it's, the motion's going, and my truck's like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like, ah. Do you Phones find- out. It's like, go on, TikTok this. Yeah. Do you find that's a thing in the UK specifically? Like, we will not, do you know what I mean? We- even if you look at like celebrities or boxers or footballers, we'll build them up. Oh yeah, yeah. And then as soon as they do something wrong or they've lost, you're useless. You are. Yeah, yeah. We we build everybody up to sort of like bring them down again. Yeah. And it's the same. No, we won't help each other. No. No. We'll just go. <laughs> useless. Oh, no. I mean? think I think what it is with UK, not enough happens. Yeah. You go to America, it crashes happen like every two seconds. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, whereas England, it was too. Too safe. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this, this gentleman here is trying to get by me. I yeah. let him by. Go <laughs> on, sir. Yeah. And America's like, how dare you, man? I'm going to move. Yeah. <laughs> My truck's bigger than yours. <laughs> My truck's bigger than yours, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the UK, we're very, yeah. like, we're all, we all think we're best drivers. We're yeah. all too kind. Everyone thinks we're best drivers. Like, yeah. oh, you're you're definitely worse than me. You can go in for, I'll get by you later on, sir. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and when it does happen, like, when you see someone going up, it's like, oh, this could be good. Yeah. Come out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. record me, like, this will go viral. Yeah. Viral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing <laughs> happens, like, oh, I should have told him. Yeah. They'll get yeah. out of court to you. Why are you telling me? This is how I'm recording yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I watched a um, video. I don't know why. You know, you'd like, it's about te- half 10. You can't be offered to put anything on the telly. You can't sleep. You're just scrolling through garbage on TikTok or Facebook mm-hmm. or whatever. And I watched one where this. Um, guy on a motorbike in the US is overtaking one of these blokes on this big chopper with the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, like the vests on the way. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know what they call it. Biker, yeah, biker group. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And you're not supposed to overtake them or whatever the ruling is, you know, a little secret code that you're not supposed to. So this guy, totally innocent, just overtakes this, uh, this chopper. Next minute, chopper comes up at some speed and then literally just tries to push him off his motorbike on his chopper. God. What? Like, what? Crazy, mate. Just Honestly. because he's overtaking him. Different world. Yeah. Different yeah. world. Do not overtake a biker club. To be honest, yeah. if I ever see like there's I think there's a uh, Satan Slaves or Hell's Angels, I forgot what they're called, they're around yeah. our end. Yeah. And um <laughs> this is we're going down motorway. And you just heard this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> this guy with a long yeah, like, that's silver it. beard. <laughs> yeah. you know, proper like Blowing skull, in the wind, like Gandalf. and everything. <laughs> just like bright blonde jeans. It's like <laughs> he's just looking at with fucking half helmet on. He's like, I've seen you. <laughs> like, even though he's like the smallest vehicle on the road, you're like this. Yeah. Move away. Yeah. Move away. Keep away from me. Because I have seen one get knocked off. One got knocked oh, off a nasty. while back on M62. <laughs> and you think they're on their own. They're not. Because mm. the one will fall off. We don't fall like, you they'll know. They'll all be they're like, oh, I'm dying over yeah. here. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my fuck is like lightning and thunder. Yeah. It's just like 17,000 yeah. coming down the motorway, just circling him around him. And then yeah. whoever's hit it, best have drove off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Not today, not today. <laughs> Nobody yeah. can get your registration plate. <laughs> yeah. So they are, they are oh, I yeah. always let them buy, like, you see them on motorway, they're like filtering. And you see some people like try and get away. If it's a normal bike, if it's just like a normal yeah. race bike, you'll see people be dicks and like, oh, you're not getting by me. You know, I don't want you to go there. Yeah. You see them on choppers or like, you know, to do with um, gangs and that. They'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what, if I ever get a motorbike, I'm just going to buy one. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah. buy one. I'm not going to be part of a gang, but I'm just, just going to just, 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 just wear yeah. one just <laughs> and get by. <laughs> like, don't worry about me. Move. <laughs> That's yeah. told me off again. Dear, dear. Sorry. He's sinking into that. Very, yeah, I'm, very I'm sinking sofa. down again. Yeah. It's because you try to touch what you touch floor. I've you touched, move I have forward, touched the floor, yeah. It's, so don't worry, it, I'm not that short. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. don't worry. And I think what's happened is I've fell <laughs> below the mic. Get his booster seat back with you. Okay. There's two, 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 well, no, I was about to say, the sofas we're, we're, are too squishy. You're making excuses, Would you like a they? pillow, sir? <laughs> Uh, next time we're gonna. I like how the fact I've got my own sofa. It's like you know you must have been like, oh, "Angry Days come today." I'm yeah, sitting next to you. I'm sitting like, next to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna no swing. Yeah, do you know what it, do what it is? It's like I always feel like I'm on my own over here, like talking at the bear, at the pair. Like, I prefer you. Here. I don't know. Yeah. I just prefer you here. I like it. Don't so nice. touch your leg. Yeah. So it's very uh, professional. You two yeah, and white. Yeah, there and you go. Look, 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 um, I can't remember what I was going to ask you now, but yeah, dri- so driving, yeah, that's what we were talking about, weren't we? Getting like drivers into driving, and why would you be a driver now? And would you advise it? Would you say no? You've been doing it for however long. Just pull me mic away from my face while I'm talking. To be honest, I don't, I don't think it's right what they're doing at the moment. You know, letting these young lads start straight away. Mm. Get your car license, you can get a truck license straight away. <laughs> it's too. It's you need to have a bit of experience with driving. I know cars are completely different, but you need to know how to drive. You need mm. to know. 
we, we're driving a truck. It's like, it's being like, you know, clairvoyant. You need, yeah. to, you need to predict what people are going to do. You see a person mm. in middle lane and you're thinking, why is he there? Why is he slowed yeah. down? He's going to pull in. Mm. You've got to be like all the time. You've got to be yeah. thinking what they're going to do. do a risk assessment yeah. every time you want to do a maneuver. You're a new driver. You don't think of that, do you? No, you think yeah. everyone knows what they should know. You, you know, I'll be fine. You're yeah. being taught how to drive something that size, not how to, how, the etiquette really are you mm. thinking right that car there shouldn't be there in a minute it's going to come right yeah. over and, and, yeah, yeah. you've got to do. think ahead and it's, it's experience I, I, isn't I, it I really? remember I went with my dad I was bringing him back from Barnsley I said see that Prius there he says yes that's going to pull over and go mm. straight into this junction it's going to come off here Yeah, you can tell because yeah. they were doing they were doing 80 yeah. and they slowed right down but they've not mm. moved over mm. and they're going to exactly. move over last minute to get across yeah. he's like how do you know that it's because I've been driving trucks that long I understand what mm. people are doing you know, obviously, sometimes I'll get it wrong, but most times it's like they'll do it. They'll just yeah, swing straight across. Yeah, you've got to look at these and the things. Amount, it's like the amount of accidents that happen is because people are just not aware. They're yeah. just mm. autopiloting it. Yeah. And it's like, you've yeah. got to be looking out for them. Like if there's someone on that blind side, mm. if I see someone on the, on the inside, you know, in mirror, mm. I will not move over there until I see them go by me. No, you know, even if they disappear, I'm like, I'm not moving there. Even yeah. if they've long gone, I've just ignored it. Yeah, well, I think a lot of time, like, how do people crash in a straight line? Yeah, you know, how do people do it? But then it's things like that, you yeah. know, just inexperience. Just pulling really. out in, for no reason, like on way here today. Mm. Just, you know, people, because mm. there's traffic and they're trying to get somewhere quick. Yeah. They're just like this, like, mm. not like I said, everyone everyone that drives a car thinks they're the best driver in the world. Like, mm. you know, I think I'm one of the best truckers in the world and you probably <laughs> think you're all really good drivers. There's never a bad, no one's ever going to admit they're a shit driver, are they? No. no. But that's the thing, because you think you're the best driver, you think that you've got more right than everyone else. Yeah. Like you're yeah. at a junction, like I'm really good. I know I'm better than this guy coming in front of me. So I can get out and I can, I'm gonna be, you know, willing for him. He's never yeah. gonna have to stop. If I'm behind him, he's gonna have to stop. And that's what gets you. It's mm. because you're being too selfish. I think it's a bit of a UK thing though. As yeah. well. Like that's, that is the attitude of it. Cause when I've driven, I mean, I've not done a lot of driving in other countries, but I just don't get the same vibe where everybody's like, get out of the way, get out of the way. You know, like yeah. BMW, wrap right your so on the, you know, typical. Well, but- I, I went to America, I'm, I'm going to America in next next month and I've driven there before. And like you said, there's no messing about. There's yeah. no like, you know, people like being selfish and that. If yeah. you, you know, if you, you want to go somewhere, go somewhere. You know, yeah. you're all in a straight line and if you want to get off, they'll let you in. Yeah. You know, I know I got told, do you know how I learned how to drive in America? I'm going to tell you all now. I learned how to drive in America when I played GTA. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, it was yeah. like, have you driven America before? So no, yeah. it's just, you know, the free right hand turn. It's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> so I went on GTA, right. or GTA 5. And GTA 5 is really what good, like proper. Yeah. Right. Great game. And I, I sat outside of a road, like stood outside of a road and I'm watching like traffic. Mm. And they mm. actually do the free right hand turn yeah. thing. Uh-huh. And I figured out how to do that through playing GTA. And I went to yeah. America. And I did this, saw this free right and turn. Obviously, people say you get pipped out if you don't go around it. Yeah. So I went, is this a free right and turn? Basically, with America, it's so easy because every lane has their own light. Right. In England, the UK, yeah. you have a red light at both sides. You yeah. have one in the middle, do you? Yeah. No. Yeah. In America, every lane has their own light. Ah, yeah, cool. So you know exactly what you're doing, you're where you're going. going. Mm-hmm. And this free right and turn thing, I'm just like, do I go? Do I not? But yeah. for everyone that you can't do it, it says no free right and turn. It says it. <laughs> so, if, so if it's a red light, turn right unless it yeah. says don't yeah. yeah that's what my dad says I, was like, oh, mental. Yeah. I, was like, I got to America I sat down I'm like wow yeah. <laughs> educational GTA <laughs> yeah. what next <laughs> how to boost the car yeah. <laughs> yeah. well I'm going um, next Thursday me and my family are going to Florida and we've and I'm driving we've hired one of these Chevrolet Tahoe SUVs like over it it's equivalent to a seven and a half ton IV car as well. <laughs> yeah. and his <laughs> little old me's got to drive it so <laughs> it's, it'll yeah. be fun take but your booster seat I am, air, air ride <laughs> I am nervous as well not because of the the, the right hand turn thing as well on red lights and stuff but also because their school buses will just stop in the middle of the road like signs will come out and go stop and you can't go past on either side like no. you've, you've got to stop yeah. so just yeah so that's another one that got about, isn't there? yeah so I don't well, want to the thing is we in America like I say, killed it, 10 kids yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. the thing is like America it's all explained it's yeah. like there's mm. stop light stop sign you must stop yeah. Right. Whereas in the UK, it's like, you see it's a stop like, sign, you're like, nah, I can give way if I can. <laughs> slow down a bit, I guess. Yeah. But in America, you must, yeah. wheels must stop turning. Yeah. You've got like a camera that sees the wheels rotating. Oh, if it hasn't right. fully stopped, what you'll get you fine. Yeah. Whereas in the UK, we don't have to like, we have viewless no. cameras. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all we have. But it's a discussion in itself. All the, all the vans everywhere, yeah. speed camera vans or whatever. Yeah. Just use ways. Oh, no matter them. <laughs> You know, I wish they'd start doing that way speed cameras. Do you know what these uh, mm. Euless people are these, doing? Uh, yeah. Blade oh, runners, mate. aren't they? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Off yeah. they go. Yeah. I know. The world would be a better place. Yeah. Yeah. You are, you are right. The UK is 
we're not we're not selfish. We're just all we're just big headed. Titles. Yeah, we're just all like we're good. Yeah, you yeah. Know, we're better than everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> we're <laughs> the <laughs> British. We took over the world. Of course, <laughs> we can drive here. <laughs> I, I used to drive a you know, horse yeah. and carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst. The cobbled yeah. lanes. Yeah. Why haven't they got rid of them? Oh. Just they're just going off topic altogether. Cobbled lanes. Can we sort that out, please? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. like I had, I had a Mercedes Actros, right? Like, I've gone to a DAF now, which has got air ride. It's, it's, mm. I bet it is. I bet it is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's driving now. You don't feel nothing. In that Mercedes. <gasps> Which you'd think would be the other way around. Like, oh, the Mercedes have stiff suspension on the yeah. cab. Whereas oh, yeah. on the DAF, they have the air, air yeah, ride. Yeah. On it. yeah. So you Shout feel out DAF. everything. You know, <laughs> sponsorship incoming. <laughs> I won't punch a new one, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, with Mercedes, it's uh, it was very stiff. And yeah. These cobbled roads, like you see them, you just like, your face just goes. Mm. Yeah. It's oh, like, oh. If I ever get a postcode in Halifax, I'm just like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go then. Yeah. Yeah. So I do not know we're in 2023. Man. Yeah. Or York or uh, Lincoln or something oh, like that. Yeah. I know yeah. there's Home Firth. I don't know if you've heard of that. That's like just outside of Halifax. And oh mm. my Jesus. And they are they are living back in the caves. There's people coming out with like rags on. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's like I went there in a truck once. And I'm just like, they've got a two way street yeah. that is a one lane. Oh, so it's just wide enough to be. It's, it's basically it's on yeah. a bend as well. And it's just yeah. like, yeah, just guess it. Just give yeah. it a go. It's, yeah. it's truck accessible as well. There's no sign saying un- unacceptable oh. truck. You go around there, you see cars, and it's like, well, brick walls both sides, cliff head that side. I guess ooh, I'll push yeah. you off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going first, mate. <laughs> Biggest vehicle win. Yeah. 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 What's the what's the worst thing you've witnessed on the road? Worst thing. Yeah. You spent all those. That you, I mean, I've seen some shockers. I got one on, da- on my dash cam mm. dinner on the way mm. on the way home the other day, mm. and I don't know how the, I don't know how these crashes happen. I've, but. I've seen the worst thing I saw was. I was passing Castleford on M62 and there must have been a bit dispute on the off ramp, like coming onto the motorway. And this uh, Jeep was obviously annoyed with whatever this car was. This other car didn't want him to go in front of him in case something bad happened. But this Jeep was so annoyed and he was just, this, he was like watching some of GTA. And yeah. he went wide as he could. He basically cut three all three, all three legs. He almost like, you know, flipped sideways, went into the central reserve. So he's now on like part, you know, yeah. where he shouldn't be dust kicking away and he's just doing this oh, everywhere he's going and I'm just like what is going on so he's backing off I'm just like there's no way I'm getting close to him yeah. he's a yeah. nutcase yeah. yeah but you know I've seen that and I've also seen a, one of the funny ones where I saw a trailer full of beer like like kegs yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I saw it I'm like I'm going around this corner he's on a roundabout I'm like <laughs> looking around the corner of his truck like that's a big fucking bulge. And next thing, no. so all this like oh, beer no. coming out. All yeah. I'm just like, right, we're gonna stop here. He's out of truck. These are like you know proper like big kegs. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. can't, you, can, yeah. you can lift them, but you can't. Pick them up. Can you no. imagine? Come on, yeah, and imagine oh. what they do to a front oh, end of a little car. Oh, well. yeah. Well, yeah. They, honestly, when they came off, they didn't just thought they bounced. It's yeah. like that will land on someone. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, we're on a roundabout that were like going onto a motorway, so there's nothing around it. Yeah, but. When it came off, I was just like, Jesus. Yeah. Have you seen when, like, I can't remember if I've seen one where it's either a car wheels come off because they've not put the wheel on or a truck. And mm. what a, tr- a bouncing truck tire. Mm. You know, well, even a normal tire. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and lately, I've seen a lot. I know. I don't know if it's because we haven't had that hot weather, but it seems when it gets hot, mm. tires do not exist. No. Mm. I mean, the amount of trucks and cars that have been pulled over because they've just blown a tire. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, we're, we're truck. Like, when a car blows a tire, you'll feel it straight away. You're like, oh, shit, let's pull over. With your truck, if your trailer wheel goes, mm. you have no idea until, until someone tells you, or you yeah. see like rubber flying no. out. Yeah. yeah, I've plenty of times I've come outside of a truck and I've been like, yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah. just like, huh? Yeah. And look behind yeah. him, just no wheel whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, it's once one tire goes, you can imagine you've got 20, you're about what, 20 ton or 15 ton up back of your trailer and mm. it's fully loaded. One tire goes, you're putting stress in that other tire. If that tire goes, the uh, other tire d- 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 yeah. just goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know these tires are extremely like well built and that, but yeah. if one goes, put yeah. all that weight on. It's the weakest, weakest link at that point, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, touch yeah. wood. Yeah. I've never had a blowout. Uh, yeah. I've, I've heard of people having blowouts and it, yeah. it seems really scary. Like your front wheel, like, do you know when they always say I have two hands of a steering wheel? Mm. You, you should. Because <laughs> yeah. if it goes in a truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, this is the game, though. This is the game you play every time you get in these things. is if something happens, mm, you know, yeah. that one in a million chance that something mm. does happen 
and you are taking a sip of your drink or whatever with one hand on the wheel. It's awful to think about. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> I know uh, your trucks do get checked every, you know, every week or whatever, every month or whatnot, you know, monthly checks and stuff. But there is always a chance Human that error. someone's going to, you know, they've missed something. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Um, my fifth wheel, it was every now and again when you start pulling forward, you're knocking. And I'm like, it's probably no. And I thought, <laughs> Let's not just say it's probably no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it checked. It's quite important. <laughs> it turns yeah. out it was just uh, the fifth wheel latch was uh, worn. Oh, okay. So it's like, if it's if it's worn, that means it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. You're carrying 26 tonne of your trailer. That's that it. worn could be, you know, the part of actually being on your truck or being yeah. fucking off your truck. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. 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 Going yeah. past you on the motorway. Yeah. 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 Like, hey. oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that truck driver did have a blowout in front of me. Um, and it was in my first car, so I'd only been driving for like that coming back, and um, mm. yeah, just it the debris is cut, his, his tires just got in pieces mm. everywhere, it's all in the middle of the road, got no chance but to slam your brakes on and hit it as slow as you can, really. Well, the gooey are banged, just, they? honestly. It you should have seen the state of my front of my little say IB3 I had at the time, <laughs> it was wrecked, mm. radiator, bonnet. Air bumpers off the whole proper mess is, just yeah. from a pe- a chunk of his tyre mm. um, so yeah, crazy. yeah, so yeah it's, it's going back to that is it worth becoming a driver it's like there's a lot that can go wrong yeah um, but it is it is good like like I said I couldn't work in a warehouse mm. ever no. you know what I mean no. like I can't after doing this job there's not many jobs I can do now mm. because I, I've experienced the freedom and stuff yeah. mm. um, but yeah it's worth it it's just the need to do something about you know pay yeah i'm talking me me granddad-in-law what you call it how you call your granddad-in-law <laughs> um he used to drive trucks before motorways and the wages they were on compared to like you know sort of working at Harley's or whatever mm. is, was ridiculous you know like really good money yeah. whereas now because it's we've left it so long because you know they've not been given pay rises and yeah. it's now some of the companies have caught us like you know like <clears throat> aldi's and tesco's and shit the main reason why Aldi's are paying them so much is because we're doing their jobs for them at warehouses. Yeah. I didn't realise that. I went to Aldi's to go offload my trailer. He says, oh yeah, eight keys, sorted. He goes, oh, we don't need your keys. He says, why not? He says, because you're unloading it. Huh. Says, oh, what? He says, you're unloading it. He says, here's your keys for- It's your produce. Pump truck. Yeah. I'm like, so I'm doing someone's job in the warehouse. Says, wow. Yeah. So that's why Aldi's is so cheap. Aldi's and Lidl, so cheap. Because they haven't got warehouse staff. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've obviously got some warehouse staff doing like, you know, the yeah, part, part time, yeah, <laughs> put, it, put it up at top and that. Yeah. But it's the driver's job to be in the warehouse unloading, unloading your own stock. I knew that. Yeah. Wow. But I've seen the future of warehousing. That's weird. Mm. There's uh, robots. Oh, okay. That's strange. Yeah. Weird. Went into this, uh, I forgot what it was, but it were basically it was just water. It were like uh, spring water, whatever it's called. And I were there collecting a full load. Uh, there were no one in there. No one. I'm like, mm-hmm. where's everyone? This is all, oh, you're not been in for us. No. So let's go to that office. There's a guy in there. So I went to the office. He goes, uh, here's paperwork. He says, all right, nice one. You press the button, right? And he says, just go to your, go to your back of your truck. You're loading it yourself. He says, all right, no worries. Who's going to bring it? He says, oh, you'll see. So I went back to back at truck. And this giant robotic fork truck oh. just delivered it all to me. No way. I come out like, this is magic. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, what he's doing. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's Have you ever seen the um, restaurants? I, mean, I was at an airport once and... Um, like, where's the where's the waitress? And the little robotic waitress and you put it in... So a little uh, robotic tray comes over, I guess, with a little iPad on it. Mm. And you choose what you want. And then the smiley face comes up and then it goes and gets it from the kitchen and brings it back for you. I did see some videos from blokes like this is obviously stag do or whatever. And all having drinks. I, I know what you're saying. And it comes over and you go, go on, girl. And they're slapping it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Whistling it. You, you won't slap these ones. Yeah, yeah, start, yeah. That one would probably kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Four yeah. your knee caps. Yeah. <laughs> go on, mate. <laughs> like, like, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, but, oh. Yeah, do you yeah, think it's just, it's weird how the future of it's going. Like, you, yeah. You wouldn't have thought, like, you, being a trucker, like, everyone thought, oh, it won't be long until truck drivers, you know, get taken over by AI and that. It's like, it'll never That'll be happen. the last. Never. Never, never happen. It'll be the last. Never. Yeah. If it does happen, it's like, say, a bit last. Because yeah. as they keep, like, I didn't realise, but as they keep saying, like, if trucks do come in AI, mm. then they have, like, a setting, like, you can't hit a person. Yeah. So all you have to do is just stand in front of it and just rob it. 
Mm. You're yeah. staying for a bit. You can't it move. Was, it Gag around stop, you. Yeah. yeah, that's an interesting theory. If you're yeah. in Calais, yeah. 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 I mean, it. get it yeah. all off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, or well, get on. I think it was an episode of like, old Top Gear back, back in the day, but it was it was with um, you know aut- autonomous driving. It was a case of, well, if that car, if that truck sees uh, mm. a mother with a baby on one side of the road or, or an Bambi. elderly person on the one side of the road, which one is it going to avoid? Mm. You know, if it's if it's going yeah. to crash, which way does it go? We can make those decisions. It can't make that decision. No. Mm. That's an interesting. So, uh, yeah. I'd try and get them both. <laughs> yeah, if I'm, going, if I'm going to jail, I'm going yeah. to jail. Ten, yeah, <laughs> ten points. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty points. <laughs> you slow me down. I think not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's, it's weird because like you've got AI taking over warehouses. Yeah, you know, doing all that. You've got AI that's going to be taking over transport mm. eventually. You know. They'll be rooting you in no time. They'll be finding out your ropes for you. I think, um, you know, you got the, on the, the park assist or whatever, and you, you've got all these Teslas and our cars have obviously got driver assistance and stuff and you press a button and it'll pull into a, a, a spot for you. Mm. I don't think it'll be too much longer before trucks are doing the, you know, you pull into a rest stop you press a button as it gets as you get to a spot and it will sort of do the see I can see I can see it happening with like rigids yeah because they're all yeah. one unit yeah true yeah, it's yeah. like you need to reverse that, I, yeah. I, I'm not against that you know the reversing part of it like oh we need to reverse in this press a button let you do it yeah. right it's yeah. up to it now mm. depends what load you got on as well because yeah. if you're in a rigid it's slightly easier but if you're in an Arctic like what load yeah. have you got on mm. yeah um, well, whereas like we're in Arctic because you keep picking up different trailers you you're going to have to update all trailers, aren't you? Yeah. No one's going to do that. No. So you're not going to be able to get proper reverse in AI for a truck. Mm. So unless your their job is just to drive forward and yours is to reverse backwards, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. But, um, is it, there much on a DAF? Because I, I know on the Volvos, do you remember the old, um, oh, the trailer with, uh, what's the the actor, the Swedish actor, the a bit like a tough guy, I can't remember his name, and he did the splits in between the two. Oh, I've shown Jean-Claude you Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. And they've got obviously all the lane yeah. assistant stuff, and they had that years ago. Like I swear, mm-hmm. Volvo were like one of the first ones to yeah, have it. It's the assistance, what do you yeah. get on your? What you got on your truck in terms on, of like driver assistance? On DAF, you've got uh, braking assistance. So yeah. if someone comes in for it, you can oh, brake. Yeah. But it normally, it normally just catches like anything, just slams on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's oh. got um, you know three cars distance. Yeah, yeah. You know, priority and that. It's got uh, lane assistance as well. So if you go out, I start telling you you're falling asleep. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's, Does it auto correct you? No, it no, doesn't don't do that. No, it'll just it's let you. will let you go crash. A lot of the cars will auto correct <laughs> It'll warn you before it kills you. It'll tell ours, you you are going to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's weird because ours, our company car, sort of drive for you, don't they? Yeah. And then yeah. you know, they, but they just go mad at you if you ever take your hands off the wheel or anything like that. Um, not that we do. No. But, um, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just have a Come twenty. I'll have a twenty second kick until it comes yeah, on again. Yeah, exactly. But the um, but then you get in other cars where the lane departures sort of like works to your detriment. You're trying to change lane, and the little then the things like oh, yeah. stay in the lane, and yeah. you're like oh, I'm trying to change lane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had that. I, I got a Honda as a hire car. Yeah, and I've never been in one of these new cars. Like they keep saying, don't use your phone in cars, and then they give you an iPad. I know, yeah, on the screen, like, yeah. yeah. All right, where's my eater? Oh, sorry, yeah. I've got to go through three settings to get to it. Yeah. Oh, no. Volvos are the worst for it. Yeah. Everything's through that screen. The moment you want to change any driving mode or put the air, or just like the simple things, yeah. car, settings, menu, scroll down. Like, how are you, yeah. how are you supposed to do oh, this? Well, like, I've got ridiculous. a Marquette Golf and literally everything is through that screen. Yeah. So, you know, if if that screen breaks, you, you, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, you, you are you right, though. You, you can't change anything no. on well, that screen. Yeah. Out, I reckon a lot of them are doing it for voice commands, the one mm. you voice to do it. Yeah. But as a Yorkshireman, that'll never work. No, it won't. You know, <laughs> heating down to four, please. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like, I, I talk very quickly, I'm trying to be very, you know... Mm punctuational here. Yeah. Normally you guys would be like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're toning it down. So you thought Nate were bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nate might be broad, but he's very, you know, he, he can say his words like, oh yes, where's me? I'm very like, oh. And he's just like, this guy's fucking mental. <laughs> Put captions at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like all my videos, like the amount of times I do videos and I'll do video, I'll do record and I'll be like watching it through like, what the fuck did I just say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I have no fucking yeah. clue. I just yeah. redo. Yeah. <laughs> but you watch the captions, it's like, oh the fuck Fucking hell, Shelley! I said yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. But it's but it's true when you use them in the car. You're like call Aaron, calling Ellie. <laughs> oh, forget it. My times I tried to call Mum. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, call Mum. Like, <laughs> what? It says Mum. I'll keep it precise. Mum. Did you mean? <laughs> yeah. or, <laughs> Did you yeah. mean black dicks? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I can't stand I can't stand all this no. talking to shit. It's like when you call people like you, call, you use the phone to call someone, like like, like yeah. you try to get through to say your doctor or whatever. Mm. I don't know we're going off topic here, like but you call your doctor, it's like, uh, can you please say all right, my number, uh 01977. It's like two five six one. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like sat navs. Sat navs are now doing it. So mm. obviously not I touch your sat nav while driving, are you? So it has voice command. And with me talking, like if you say, hey, Tom Tom say, so mm. hello, Tom Tom, it'll bring it up and it'll ask like, what do you want? Yeah. I'll be driving down around going, ah, hello, no bad. And it'll yeah. come up and goes, can I help you? <laughs> no, yeah. you, what yeah. you want that? Yeah. And you'll be like, I remember Margaret, she had a brand new Tom Tom. And I'm like, right, I can't touch it because it's over there. So I'm trying mm. to talk to it. So I'm like, hello, Tom Tom. It's like, hello, all right, all right then. Um, take me to um, Castleford. And he'll be taking me to somewhere in frigging London or something. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, Castleford. Sorry, there is no Castleford. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like proper getting annoyed. It's just, yeah. he don't like you, does it? I don't like it. <laughs> no, no like, it doesn't quite work. He's trying to do yeah. postcode as well. And he's like, he's trying to say, I can't even get it wrong yeah. myself, but it's like WF11. He'll put like PP1. It's like, yeah. Mm, Give up. It. Just go with it. All right, all right, sorry, so let me start again. Yeah. Uh, hello, Tom Tom. Uh, WF11. One, one. Uh, like, yeah. I guess it perfect. I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yorkshire Yorkshire friendly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, Sat Nows, uh, I'm pretty sure Sat Nows were created by Satan himself. Yeah. I don't know. It's like Sat Nows are these things that you have, you've got a lot of trust in a Sat Nows. You've set mm. it up pr perfectly, right? Mm. You set your height, you set your length, you set your width. It knows everything about you. It's mm. like, for a good month, you'll be like, perfect, mm. nothing. Like no seven half ton roads, yeah. no low bridges. You're like, this sat down knows what it's doing, right? Yeah. And then and one day, it. one day, yeah. you'll be like, turn right down here and you'll say, unsuitable for HGVs. And it's think, like, what? are you sure? And it's yeah. like, trust me, I know. Have I, have I dealt you wrong all, this year, all these years? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, you haven't. Let's trust you. Go down. It's like, you can hear it laughing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going down, yeah. it's like, I get a truck down here. No, turn around, impossible. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it did save you the you night. Know, drive back from Southampton. It took me down, even though it said road it's closed. closed yeah. It still tried to take, take me down a road closed, yeah. even though it knew before yeah, it, was that it was closed. Yeah. Yeah, it says it's yeah. closed. <laughs> yeah, but still no, tried to take continue. Me down. Yeah. yeah, it's like you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are just people. They are just flesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mow them down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just, Look, I've got now. I've got a point where I've got me sat nav doing one thing, and me Google yeah. Google Earth doing another yeah. thing. So I'm like driving this road, and it's like Google's obviously not got the yeah. weight sayings in. So I'm like, do I trust you? Do I trust you? Yeah. You're like, you're yeah. an argument with them. If yeah. they're saying different things, you're thinking, yeah. uh, like yeah. Google's like, this is the fastest way. Yeah, but is it the right way? And then the other one's like, no, <laughs> this is the right <laughs> way. And so you're like, I'll follow you then. Yeah. So it'll take you somewhere. You'll get to where it goes. Like you'll you'll go around the roundabout, take this junction. And Google's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Turn right. It's like, no, no, we can go this way. This is what I say. Yeah. It'll take you fifteen minutes longer, sir. Yeah. It's like I don't care. I just want to get there. I oh, know. And then it's eventually just... you get fed up with your sat nav because we are sat nav. If you miss your turn, it will not tell you another way no, until just, you turn around. I yeah. told you so. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, turn around. No, turn around, sir. No, 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 sir, sir, listen. Turn the fuck around! Yeah. And Google's like, no, it's okay, go forward. <laughs> you know, go forward. You'll keep going forward. Google's found your route. And you're not listening to this because it's, it's done you wrong about four or five times now. Mm -hmm. And then like, you drive up, it's like, that's a little bridge. It's like, yeah. like yeah. told you. <laughs> and Google's like, oh, you're too high. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the worst road then? Yeah. Worst the, road. In the UK? The worst road. I'd say Boston. Yeah. Boston, oh my God. There's a there's a road in Boston going towards, you won't know it, it's called Warden Agri, which okay. is a it's a waste disposal place. And the road there, ooh, it's like, it's like nobody knows it's there. No, it's, no. it's like, it's been there for years. <laughs> it will be fine for years to come. It's like you'll be driving down it. It's one of these roads that has no road markings. No. It's just a single road. It's an old, old like <laughs> farm road, but they've tarmacked it. Mm. So I think the time act it as it was, you know what I mean? Like bumps and lumps and everything. So you're driving down this road, you're doing 56 because it is a national speed limit. Mm. You're just driving down there like, you know, nothing wrong at all. Yeah. And all of a sudden you'll be upside down backwards and you know, everything yeah. will be on your face. You'll be like, yeah. what the fuck has just gone in? <laughs> yeah. It's like the air seats on, so obviously you've fucking hit roof. <laughs> it's like, I, was like, I remember driving down this road and you're like driving down. Because you've got no road markings, you can't determine where the bumps are. Mm. Just driving down there. And all of a sudden you're just like, Slow motion would be hilarious, honestly. Yeah. You'd see the steering wheel go down, you'd still be there, like, what the fuck? <laughs> going up, like, 
Go back down. Just every, lockers are open up. <laughs> every teacups in your fucking forehead. Microwaves just yeah. give you a clap around fucking the door. Dinner everywhere. You're like <laughs> monster fucking flying about. It's just like boom, boom, <laughs> You'll come back out of it like you've just literally been oh. murdered. Yeah. Like, <gasps> yeah. like blood everywhere. And, yeah. then I, and now I know that road's there. I'll go 20 miles around. The people behind me like pipping horns and shit. And they can't get around me. No. So I'll move to the side because they're like, they're being assholes. So I'll move over to the side. But I know what's coming. Yeah. So I know that down there there's a big fucking bump that they won't know about. That's it. So they'll go and I'll be like, back, back in. Just I'll watch him. him. He'll just see him go. <laughs> just like, ah <laughs> <laughs> then you'll see I'd, it slow down to 10 be like, <laughs> told you so yeah. Yeah. and I'll be like 20 up their ass going come on then come on then yeah, yeah. yeah. Boston because it's, it's, it's mainly because I do that quite a lot that's my yeah. worst road I mean that yeah. part of the country I mean anywhere to get to you know Lincolnshire oh, anything damn. on Those... that that part that part of the country it will take you three and a half hours to do there's roads in there between like Sleaford that's Boston it. you want to go anywhere over there at the, that far east or northeast like Kingsland that way mm. You get on those single track between yeah. the little cabbages, yeah. Oh, yeah. and if you're not stuck behind a tractor, you're yeah. stuck behind a combine. Or oh, it, there's, all, there's always some nightmare. like really deep yeah. ravine, <laughs> like a really yeah. deep. Like I don't even want to go fast here. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. So no. You, as soon as you like go stay well, you're off in it. Yeah. But no, there's a the motor, some, there's some motorways there, about Like mm. is it the M1? There's a, on the inside lane on the M1. There is a, a notorious place for a dip being. And obviously, yeah. I guess once the dip's there, it's just digging a bigger and bigger yeah, hole, isn't yeah. it? You know, it's getting further and further, yeah. 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 So, and obviously, because I'm a truck, I have to be in that lane. No mm. cars have ever seen that because no, no, no. the trucks are doing it. But you'll see me just going down that road and then everything I'm just flying. I'm like, this is a motorway. Yeah, yeah. It's shocking. Yeah. How is this here? The roads are terrible. I'll tell you what, there's a bit between, I think, Gloucester and Bristol on the M5, but on the outside lane. Mm. Yeah. So you can, the cars are doing... What are yeah. they doing in the outside lane? And quite literally, I know Sink it's there, hole. so I'll be over. But you'll see cars yeah. dip and almost mm. take off in the yeah. outside lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious. Oh, no, no worry. <laughs> I don't like high... Uh like sloping hills mm. like you know like these, yeah. when, you, when, you, when you read on science there's 10 percent. you're like yeah. what's 10 yeah. percent? and then you're screaming all the way down yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so i remember i saw i forgot what it was but they basically it said like i think it was 13 percent or something like that and uh it was these have you ever been to like the malls or anything like that it's, yeah it's, it's very like that. like there's there's no road inside it's yep. just like deep dips and stuff mm. Anyway, I'm driving down and uh, he says 13%. I says, ah, I'll get the I'll get the exhaust brake on, put it on setting one. So I can only kick in on it. <laughs> what the fuck put it on for? <laughs> yeah. It's doing nothing. <laughs> so you take it off because it's doing nothing. You put touch your brakes just a slight bit. And you're mm-hmm. like, you, just, you can hear this. Oh, smell it, sorry. It's yeah. like, oh, there's a burning smell behind me. It's like the wheels like burning away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And you can see like cur- t- cur- corners coming. It's like, this shouldn't be accessible for trucks. No. You're crying going down it. Yeah. You're like, I don't want to fucking burn. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cars behind you like, speed up. I'm fucking control <laughs> yeah. myself. I think the thing is, yeah, when the signs go up, they don't realise actually if you're in a truck, it has that effect. Well, mate, yeah. like, if you're fully loaded down one of them things, like you can easily yeah, get 80 yeah, miles yeah. per hour and it's like, yeah. I don't want to go over 60. No, you know what I mean? You've, no. Have you seen in the States and in, in Canada and stuff, they've got these really, st- and they'll go for miles downhill, down the mountains or whatever, but then they'll have a, a, a slip road for runaway trucks yeah. going up again mm. uh, yes. to stop you. Yeah, so you yeah, can I've literally, if you can't stop your truck, yeah, you pull over to the to the right hand side and you go up this uh, this runoff and yeah. it's for runaway well, trucks. They have them here in UK. They have them yeah, on that road I'm talking about. Yeah, I think I've seen one. Yeah. It's like a you know, F1. If you watch F1, the, the yeah, yeah. gravel. Yeah, it's basically, yeah. it's a, it's a gravel track, in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Uh, you go in there, you can't get out. You know, mm. but have you, have you seen where they put them? Yeah, it's like how oh. do you expect me? At, like you know, God knows what speed. Mm. To get in there instantly to slow down. It's yeah. like, the place, the problem is ridiculous. Like, I will cause an accident doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some road in the peaks, obviously, when it snows uh, in the winter. Um, yeah, cars can do that. They right. can go up this, like, run run away. Oh, I just yeah. use farmer's fields. Well, <laughs> I did do that once. A tree will do it. Far too many times. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did do that once. I was... Um, it was in really bad weather. I was in the worst car Middle for of it. Middle summer, bone drop. And I was, I was in the Yorkshire... To be fair, I was in the Yorkshire Moors going to see my grandparents because that's where they are. And then... I just try to stop for this turn. Nope. Full lock. Nope. And I'm just sliding into this field. Like, and I was taking a while. I was literally would not stop. And I'm literally like, still going, still going through this field. Will <laughs> honestly it took ages in this ice to stop. Right. But the best one, we were talking about sat navs. Do you use Waze in your car? The sat nav. 
the Waze. Now, Waze. It's great for speed cameras. It's great for a lot of things. It's based but, on, I think, <coughs> based on, I think, uh, is it Google Maps? Yeah, yeah. All the professional so the da- taxi the drivers. Data don't know. is their own though. So speed cameras, yeah, uh, yeah. crashes, roadworks. Yeah. The, the, the really lot. good. Mm. Yeah. But we've been places sometimes where we'll, you know, we'll be out in the country. We've done mm. a demo out in the middle of nowhere or whatever. Mm. And we're going to the hotel or we've just been to a restaurant out in the middle of whatever. And you'll put the address in and it will try to take you mm. through like, little yeah. back lanes that would the Romans probably used ten, yeah. you know, 2,000 years yeah. ago. Like a rural road. Yeah. <laughs> I think going down to Devon, it took me off the M5 at Gloucester. I'm yeah. like, where why? are we going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally single track lanes all the way. And you don't yeah. come back onto the M5 anyway. Do you remember when we had, we had have you seen The Office, US? Yes. Yeah, the TV. You know, he uses the sat nav <laughs> and he's with Dwight and he's going, why are you turning right here? It's the river. And he's like, the sat nav tells me to turn right. <laughs> yeah. It knows what it's doing, Dwight. I'm doing I'm going, we almost did it. Didn't we? Remember in the dark, it's Lena Stan Slate and we were going, this ain't right. This ain't right. Next minute huge dike in front of us yeah. and there's a you know, there's bloody river mm-hmm. and it was literally it was going to try and get us to go over this little pedestrian cattle bridge yeah. and we're like yeah, yeah. that last oh, time we trust it oh, yeah. he's, he's done that to me before I've like I've got because a lot of times when it says unsuitable for HGVs mm. we do go up them because we have to get where we're yeah. going well, even yeah, though so, it's unsuitable <laughs> or you can't turn around because there's a queue behind yeah, you yeah. none of them will move back well it's an end point isn't it you've got oh. to get to so to, it's like, well the second I'll tell you yeah it's up there so you'll go up there and then you'll see the road it's taking you to, and it's like, this isn't suitable for HGV. <laughs> yeah. But then it's like, because you're there, it's like a lot of these, you know, like these concerts, like, um, what's that one? Last well, you, you know, we've done it and all that. We do, oh, okay. we, we do all portal loose for them, basically taking portal loose yep. back onto the And there were one, I'm not sure what, which festival it was, but the way they have it, you can't get a main road to it. So you've got to go down a, like a, a thin road. Mm. And it does say unsuitable for HGVs. And I'm like, well, I called him up and says, look, I says, this road, is this the right road? I told him the name of the road. He says, yeah, yeah, just go down there. <laughs> no, right, nice one, nice one. He didn't realise that there's this road and there's this road. So this is the road that everyone's uh, using. I went down this road. Uh, I chopped every tree down. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I chopped, literally, like I went down here and just made a, like a HGV. That's you know, it. Well, everyone just, after you was thankful. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going, no, this is cool. This is cool, cool. <laughs> it's like, but because he's told me it's fine, because the sat now says it's fine. I'm like, this is fine. It's perfect, fine. There's no wrong here. This is, no. it just must have grown since the festival started. Yeah. And then I remember seeing this like big tree, like this like thick tree. I'm like, oh. I'm not going to go through that. That's, That's going to go through much. me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, go across it and then you see these people that are watching you go down like, you should be down here. Yeah, you know, yeah. since time, it's just, yeah, yeah. everyone's told to come down here. Yeah. There's no way of getting out now because no, no. you, well, you've gone so no far time. down. Mm. It's like, I might as well continue because I can't yeah. reverse out. It's da- too much danger. Yeah. So you keep going down and you're like, no, oh, I can get in here. Yeah, <laughs> but it's yeah. just literally just, you've yeah. re-trimmed the whole you know, gardens and everyone's <laughs> garden. Like, I've had that a few times. Like you've knocked out some apples out of someone's apple tree. Yeah. They ask, they, they watch you. Yeah. It's like, watch me garden. Yes. Like, sorry, love. All the grass outside their house <laughs> yeah. near the road. Should and they'll, stu- put, they'll put rocks out yeah. to stop you from like, She'll, she'll it, be yeah. stood there like, you know, brick walls here. Like that. And she's stood on the edge just making sure you're not hitting it. It's like, yeah. You know, mm. how much is it to get a brick fixed? You know, yeah. Yeah. All, like your life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So oh, I've, had, I've had people come down here. binoculars time. watching yeah. you down the road. Oh, I've had so many of them. Like, uh, here, Jeffrey's coming again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we have, where we are in Cass, uh, everywhere around us is seven and a half ton. Yeah. So any way to get to our um, our yard is seven and a half ton. Mm. And sometimes we get people like Colin, like, yeah, there's a truck going through seven and a half ton. It's like, yeah, because he needs to. Mm. It's like, he has to. But you've got these people that are that anal. Yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. be like, calling like, if you, you go for a seven and a half ton, like, just in your wagon, go past my house, and it's seven and a half ton here. It's like, yeah, because you've got a, you've got a business down at the bottom of it. Like, yeah. It says for access as well. Yeah, yeah. Ordinarily, they shouldn't, but in this case, they've got mm. to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, see, you see a wagon access. every day coming by, then, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't realise that actually... If it, like when they when you see road closed except for access or whatever, mm-hmm. same, same same. I hate principle. them as well. I hate those flipping signs. They confuse me. Yeah. It says road closed, but you like which one? Road yeah. closed. Yeah. Road closed ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's like which one's ahead? Which? Well, well, I'm yeah, gonna it's keep going until I can't. How yeah. far ahead yeah, is this yeah. road I've closed? I've done that and then got all the way to find that. Yeah, it was right. Yeah, actually. sometimes <laughs> you can go for miles and then well, go. Yeah. It's like I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. It's like road ahead closed. Like, I bet it's not. Yeah, <laughs> like, I bet. I bet it's not though. Is it? It's like it'll be an off road or something. You get to the top and it's like, do you not see? It's like I did. Yeah, but I didn't realize it was this road. Yeah, he did say ahead. Well, that road's ahead as well. Yeah, so is the six past it. I've done that play times he's just like oh i'm a truck can i just go through because there's no road no. <laughs> literally no road here mate yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. what are you doing in the u.s then u.s i'm off to disney oh yeah to disney mate when are you going i'm going on the 
18th, I want to say. I don't know. I'll let her deal with it all. Eight, uh, October. Yeah, it's like I say, I'm... I'm, I'm going uh, next week. Ooh. Disneyland, yeah, yeah. You, so you're going on the 100th year anniversary. You're going to do the Halloween nights? Of course. Yeah, of course. I can't wait. Mate, they'll be scared of me. Boo! Fucking boo! We went We went five years ago. Um, it's the best, isn't it? It is. We went at the same time as well, so we did the Halloween Horror Nights. It was just like, you get your phone out, they purposely come to you, don't they? Yeah. So it's like I'm my phone out recording them and they're like, Ooh, and it's like, <laughs> and I'm like, you don't know who I am. You don't know who I am, mate. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it was because uh, uh, she fucking loves it. She's fucking, honestly Disney mad. I, I, like I said, I'm tired of shit, me. I, I hate knowing how much money is going. I don't know how much it's it costs. expensive out there. Don't isn't tell it? me. Oh, yeah. no, 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 I've got four people I'm taking. Yeah. I know it's going to be expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's just, it's just, it's look, it's just, you pay for it. It's just, we'll just, We'll enjoy when we get there. Just don't tell me how much it's costing. And uh, she's like, do you want a car? Obviously. So I'm not doing Ubers and frigging <laughs> no. buses. I'm not, I'm not being all people that fart. Mm. <laughs> if it is a fart, it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's, she's got a car and everything. And we're going for the two weeks. Nice. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I'm a truck driver. I haven't spent two weeks with my family in forever. Yeah. So I was looking at them like, two weeks with you bastards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you'll love it. And we're like, yeah. 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 let's give me a truck. Let's see, yeah. <laughs> let's see if I'm driving. Yeah. But, uh, it should be good. Yeah. But saying that, all these actors, did you know I used to be an actor? Well, no, extra. Did you? Did you? Yeah. An so, angry extra. Like, the reason why this TikTok all started is because I were an extra. And no, I, was, no. I was doing it to see if I could act. See if I were any good. I'm sure one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can't do this shit. Yeah. But I, I were on a TV show called uh, Project Z. I yeah. were a zombie, like scaring kids. No, wait. I'm not even kidding. Can you see? Can you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm main character, mate. Oh, we have to put that in, Ben. Ben will find it. Yeah, ben clips. will find yeah. it. Yeah. Well, uh, what happened is uh, I, I started, basically I was doing this, I was doing next before and I didn't enjoy it. I was looking for a job. And um, I got offered this, uh, like, come and try out for an extra position. It were when Peaky Blinders were auditioning. Oh, so they wanted right. someone, a Yorkshire person with a beard to play one of the Jewish people. So I'm like, right, I'll go for it. So I got in with this company who do extras, extra work. And I didn't get the opportunity because I didn't have my DBS check. You know, oh, yeah. So you can work with kids. So I got that. And they says, oh, We've got another job for you. So, like, cool, what is it? So, it's this Project Z. Never heard of it before in my life. So, I don't know what's going on. Project Z, Z yeah, if you're American. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I went there. We we're at school, like a high school. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is weird. <laughs> got my DBS check now. I'm going to high school again. So, do you want me to be a teacher or something? So, anyway, I'm sat down. He says, oh, do you know what you're doing? He says, no idea. He says, uh, I know I'm, I'm here to be an extra. So, I'm a background person or whatever. And he says, no, 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 this is, you're a zombie. I says, you what? I says, you're a zombie. We're going to dress you up as a zombie and you're basically going to scare the shit out of some kids. I went, <laughs> All right then, let's do this. <laughs> so, give me these clothes, pull these clothes on. You're really put, into character. Oh, mate, they put this yellow yellow and black teeth in. Like, yeah. you know, painted my teeth. It was awful. Yeah. Uh, did all this stuff. And um, <laughs> we went into this room. They picked uh, me and this little ass. I says, you're going to be the first ones to be on camera. I says, all right, nice, we're cool. So the first ever thing they had us doing is these kids were in this little room. It's basically like crystal maze for kids. Yeah. Right. So you've got to work out how to get this this school uh, without the zombies getting you. So they're in this room and I've never, this is the first ever acting job I've ever done. I'm just like, oh, I don't Straight want to go do yeah. this. Is, uh, this guy says, whatever you do, right, never break character. Don't let them see you as you are normally. So you oh. must stay in character. You must be a zombie at all times. And I says, right. I says, what kind of zombies are we? Are we like, you know, Resident Evil zombies, you know, just Dawn of the or, Dead zombies. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, Sean of the Dead Sean, zombies. Yeah, running zombies, you know, <laughs> this is all we you you kinda like you, you know, you can jump kind of thing. Like, yeah. Blah. Yeah. So, all right, cool. So, so what sounds do we make? This is all we just make a zombie sound. So, what's that? We'll moan or something like, uh, like mm. this is, yeah, but that's so, so we all had our own thing. Like this last had this like uh, this all had like a uh, this all last had a uh, and then me, being me, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Have you seen uh, me? Uh, said, da, 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 da. <laughs> it's still before that though. And then this is to me, uh, I said, is that all right? She said, it's fine, it's cool. Mint. So anyway, first scene, I'm behind this door, right? This school door. Now we all remember school doors being big fire doors, heavy as shit doors, don't we? Yeah. And the first part of all, basically, these kids have got to work out to get into a small room to find these backpacks, like, like in these, like, get a backpack out. And uh, when they get in there, I've got to walk through the door. And he says, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to push the door open? 
and then go get them, right? They don't know you're there. Right, cool, cool, cool. These kids walk at dawn and says, right, right, they're in there. Go, go, go. So I'm like proper in character. And I'm like, Ugh. I fucking hit this door so hard, like ran into it with my face because I had to get my face in the frigging window. Smacked it with my oh. face and then bashed through it. The door slammed open so hard it broke the door. He broke all like the lockers. And I'm like, Ugh. I think there's a lot of same character doing this. But I'm like, shit, I'm just fucking caused damage here. I'm like, ah! And these kids shit themselves so bad. <laughs> like these kids fucking fell over each other, like, ah, like screaming that. And there's me going, ah! But because this was the first acting job I've ever done, I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to laugh. No. I've got to stay in character, but I'm fucking creased. So you see me in the scene going, ah, to <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking like I've got a proper bad limp. <laughs> like, like These kids are running around. Anyway, we got it all, that part done. And the last scene, because I've done what I've done, yeah. being a knobhead, yeah. uh, this is about your main character. So you're the, the, the final boss. Yeah. All right, cool. In this final scene, these kids have got to get into this room that I'm, there's three doors. There's two zombies in these other two doors and there's me in the middle. And the thing they've got to work out is they've got to get into my door and press this button behind me. You've never seen kids shaking. Like these kids like 13, they're not like no, 13, 14. They're not that young. Like they know I'm normal, surely. And they are shaking, shitting themselves like that. And the, basically what it is, the saw maybe I start, I've got to make a lot of noise, but they start punch this door and doing mm, all this noise mm. and that, and like licking windows, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Which you'll see me do. <laughs> it's like, ah. And um, they figured it out. And this kid's got all this door and he's shaking. He's like, Ooh. and the cut scene. He's like, go, go, go. Right, so everyone walked off. And then the producer came up to me and he goes, look, I told you, I know, I know I told you not to break character, but you are seriously scaring these two girls. Like, they are no terrified way. of you. And I'm like, yeah. all right, this is what you want to do. Is just, can you can you break character and just explain who you are, like you're a normal person. Can you just like be, be oh, natural? Dear, dear. So anyway, these two young lasses are walking up to me. And I'm like, oh, I'm still in character. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, love, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm perfectly not like being, trying to be this like positive as possible. Like, oh, you're next, how you doing? I'm absolutely fine. So you're a normal person, as normal as can be. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's basically, she said, oh, my, my friend got caught, but I don't, want, I don't want to be caught, but can you catch me? And I'm like, She's, you're such a woman, aren't you? You know, he's <laughs> proper, you know. She's like, yeah, I'll, I'll get you, don't worry. So anyway, got back into it. And uh, I, so I walked off and I, as soon as she turned around, I went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I got back into the room and she opened the door and she's there banging drum. I got her. And uh, we go in this room. And I'm going on with this, aren't I now? But uh, we go in this room, we got a trainer now to be a zombie because they turned to zombies. And um, I says, she goes, what do I do? I says, right, do you know what I did? She says, what? She says, just act like you don't know where things are. Yeah. Just act like you don't know where you are. You don't know. You don't know if you just, just act like you're lost. Yeah. But at the same time, scary. So we're walking down this corridor, there's all five. There's, there's seven of us, so there's, including these two girls. So there's four plus the other two. Walking six, even not bad. Walking down this corridor, and I'm like banging into walls and stuff. And I've trained these two girls how to be zombies. They shit me up. Proper good acting, like. And she were like, she started doing what I was doing, but she went, she probably like twisting her neck back. I thought she were a fucking owl at one point. <laughs> she was like walking forward, looking at me at the same time. Like, Jesus, so you can see me on camera, like, as she's walking forward, doing all this, like, walking into things and, you know, being proper, like, hyped up on that. You can see my face going, uh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm doing that. Ah! <laughs> 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 proper, like, what the fuck's going on here? It was a really good thing. And since then, uh, that's when I started doing the TikToks properly because, yeah. I right enjoyed it. I've yeah. never experienced like that before, you know, being just free to be myself, yeah. be yeah. an idiot. Yeah. When you are on the road you're improv at nine yeah. at night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you've got to have, yeah, when you're on the road all week, you've got to have a bit of an escape as well and yeah. a bit of yeah. well, that's, something. That's what it is, I don't, I'm not, a lot, you know, it's like a lot of truckers are grumpy, mm. like proper grumpy, because they don't want to be out driving, they don't want to be doing the job, mm. they want to be at home drinking. Yeah. And it's like, just enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're out, you're out on the road 15 hours a day. Mm. You know, not on the road 15 hours, but you're out. You're, you're day, out 15 hours. You're yeah, out, yeah, you know. Yeah. If you're constantly in a mood, yeah. you know, you're, you're yeah. not going to enjoy anything. Nah, nah. Whereas me, it's like, if I'm if I'm getting a bit bored, or I'll just pull over for forty five and just do a quick TikTok of me just losing my temper or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's it, probably just liven me up. That's yeah. it. And then you're, you're back to it and you feel yeah. better for, yeah. for, for. One of the good things that have come out of this though is the amount of messages I get from people saying, you know, I'm having a bad day, but you've sorted yeah. me out. Yeah. I'm just like, Wow. Mm. It's like people are like proper like watching my stuff because they're not feeling like up to it. And yeah. I'm just like, I'm gonna keep doing this for you guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. It's got it's a good feeling you knowing yeah. that you've helped somebody yeah. in the in the day. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a lot of people are like 
they'll watch my stuff and I'm, I watch it back I'm like this is stupid this I'm like I'm an idiot what am I doing and uh, I'll put it up just because I know it's going to make someone laugh yeah. And, yeah yeah. if you've the, turned one person's day around then you, you, you've the, achieved what you're going to do it's the for me it was the daff <laughs> the punching daff. daff yeah well, I went, I went, when I went to the truck show, I saw Daff. Daff were there. Yeah. And um, I'd just done that video of me punching the shit out of me Daff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I walked up to Daff. I'm like, you are right? And he's like, I know you. I went, do you? And he goes, have you got any gloves? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, well, these are all brand new. I want to punch these. Yeah. No. And he's just like, uh, no, it was a good video. I enjoyed that. I yeah. said, oh, I'm glad you did, man. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Just there like this. <laughs> just ready to punch it was, the it, it was like, like the place. first truck one, a commercial vehicle one I'd actually nah, seen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's weird. Like people really like the fact. I'm gonna make yeah. a sticker saying "Daft Punk," a punch, yeah. Daft yeah. Punch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 it went glo- it went like global with yeah. that one. Like a lot of my stuff just stay in like the UK, America, Ireland and stuff like well, UK. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah, that one went like all the way Indonesia, like yeah, well yeah. fabulous, like proper yeah. like I looked the reach like reach on it was massive. Yeah, well wow. I looked at the, co- the countries that were getting involved in, I'm like, wow. So yeah. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. um fair play. It's just they just love it. Yeah. When you don't say anything but words that they know, like mm. just daft. Everyone understands daft. That's it. No matter yeah. where people see it, they know what it is. But now yeah. I'm like trying to think, am I going to make daft sound stupider? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I've done like daft, daft, yeah. duff. And it's like, yeah. what do I do now? So get an egg and start throwing eggs at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> daft. <Yeah. laughs> just like egg and daft. <laughs> it would be on trend. You know what I mean? Oh, well, the whole egg thing. I think we've just sussed your next video. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. I'm yeah. going on way back home, 12 pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to work. You're like, what's up? You all right, Rich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're talking about my truck actually. It's going for a wrapping uh, next week. Oh, is it? Yeah, Monday. Wait. Dave Young truck, truck coming ahead. Nice. I can't wait, man. I'm buzzing. Proper. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Because Jodie's old pink trucker, isn't she? She's, yeah. 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 Can't, you can't miss it. No. Well, I think my daff is just, it's a plain daff. Yeah. Which, to be honest, I don't mind. When yeah. you ain't got no writer out, no, stay on no one knows what to call. Yeah, if you do something wrong, it's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit, I just knocked that wall over. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, if you're getting recognised and people even know your truck when it's blank mm. and just plain, mm. oh yeah, I suppose that's, that is the maybe one drawback. The, on, the only... The only thing I've said is like- I've when, just seen Dave the Angry Drunk. Yeah. When, 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 <laughs> well, when I've uh, got it wrapped, it's basically been said that no one else can drive it. Yeah. Because once it's wrapped, it is me now. Mm. That is, if anything goes wrong with that truck, then everyone thinks it's me. Yeah. Great that's... publicity for an um, advertisement for um, the company you're working for. Yeah. Well? well, we've got sponsors as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a few companies going on there. We've got um, our company, obviously, and my logo everywhere on it. Yeah. But yeah, it should be. It should we'll be have there. to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll by the time this goes have, out, that yeah. would have been. Yeah, be well, it, it comes back on twenty second, so yeah. yeah, it'll be out next week. Have yeah. we missed the the chance to be a sponsor on it? No, no. That's a chance. We you can, have to. I'll put, you through, put right. you through to Aiden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but basically, it's, um, yeah, I've got. I think I've got three three on it so far. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's cool. At the moment, the front of it looks like it's going to be like a fucking Formula One car. Yeah. Got sponsors on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, I don't mind, man. It's like all these companies that are on it are the ones that supply us with, yeah. you know, stuff like um, mm. parts and stuff. Yeah. But um, spot on. It's like, I can't, I can't thank this company enough. Like, yeah. what other company could you work for where they're going to like wrap you a truck? Yeah. That's, put yeah, all that's, your logos over I it. I think it's brilliant. I, right, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. I think it's, it's a massive, like, you, you do get a lot of old timers that don't like it. Like, you've not old school boys. Mm. Like, why are you doing that to his truck? You know, yeah. why is he getting this? Why is he getting that? Yeah. It's like, because he's like advertising us. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's, he's bringing like, Howley's before wasn't that popular, obviously, because of what happened and stuff. And But now, can't get enough bleeding trucks. Yeah. There are people that are coming in. It's, it's all because I've, like, I can't say it's all because of me. No, but you've set the impact. Yeah. It's that. just like I've said, like, people say, where are you working? Like, Kenneth Howley's, is there any jobs going? I'm yeah. like, if you've got ADR, then yeah. Yeah. And that's they've realised yeah. that they've seen it like you know nearly four hundred thousand followers now. Yeah, it's, you know, you're saving them on recruitment. Yeah. That's for sure. That's Absolutely. free advertisement. As soon mm. as the truck gets done, I mean, that's gonna be the first ever YouTube video that I do because mm. I ain't done YouTube yet. Oh, okay. I haven't moved on to it. Our last is like putting little yeah, snippets you, on, but I ain't done a proper YouTube yet. You should. Yeah, mm. Sandy's doing really well on YouTube. Well, he's the thing is the difference for me and Sandy is Sandy's really technical. Like he, he knows trucks. Like he's he does a lot of cool jobs. Like he does like logs. 
Like, yeah. uh, I can't do that. Screw that. I've seen, I've seen too many Final Destinations to freaking drive that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When I'm following one, I think, uh, yeah. I don't want to be. <laughs> no, but with him, there's always something interesting going on. Like, he can repair a truck. If he has an issue, he can take care. Hey, what good's me? Like, oh, we've, we've, uh, we've had a, you know, a nut shear. Stay with me and watch until someone comes and fixes it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, sit with me yeah. <laughs> until Lou gets here. I have seen uh, it is on TikTok. I don't know if he's got a YouTube, but I've got I've seen one trucker who literally will just do his manoeuvres. Like right, I've got a difficult one here, and he'll just mm. have GoPros everywhere, yeah. just yeah. showing his. Well, I'm, I'm thinking with with YouTube. Obviously, this is going to be the first video of me doing the truck out and mm. making it look nice. Um, do a big reveal on that, and then I think what I'll do is I'll try and make it like more comedy value, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, try and do what I do, but make, I'm going to make like a series and mm -hmm. call it Dave Transport or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Just be like me walking in the morning going, oh, here we go, you know, still yeah. being, like yeah. having faultless drivers that have no idea what they're doing. And yeah, well, you're highlighting actually what a lot of people think, but but they in their content, they don't say, yeah. Yeah. but you're highlighting that. So yeah. Well, that's what a lot of people say. Like a lot of people like, that's like, you watch a lot of truckers, TikToks and it's the positives. Mm. Yeah. It's always like, yeah. This is good. This is yeah, good. This exactly. is good. It's always a positive thing. Whereas I'm saying the truth about a job. Like mm. it is a good job, but you're not going like this. You're not going mm. like that. You know, like and it's good. Waiting on a bay for six hours. This is what you'd be doing, like jumping yeah. up at walls and stuff. Mm. Yeah, everyone's like messaging me, going, "That is so me. That is so me. That is so me." Mm. Like, well, do it then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's different content. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. That's. I think that's why I've done well because I started it off doing the, or you know, getting angry part. You know, everyone else is like happy and that's, yeah, that's it. me, I'm just a knobhead. <laughs> just like getting angry with anyone. But I, I get it now, like if uh, if my office ever muck up, they don't want to tell me because I know mm. I'll do a TikTok on it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if they send me somewhere, it's wrong place. It's like, uh, Dave, I'm like, yeah, do you know that place I've just sent you? Yeah, well, it's not actually there. And I'll be like, yeah. right then. I'll see you in a bit. See you. <laughs> yeah. TikTok, man, the boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, no, it's coming. It's like the ones with barrels. I don't know yeah. if you've seen that one. I took, 48 empty barrels oh. instead of 48 yeah. full barrels, barrels. Oh, and everyone's like Seen well, it. didn't you realize you were so light I, said, I don't read what i've got on no. i just no. get it and go you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh i went 48 i went all the way from castle selby all the way down to southampton oh. so that's like what 300 that's, that's, 300 miles that's or that's whatever it is yeah, yeah. got six hours driving got there i obviously got into i didn't even actually get there because when boss called me and says just to let you know. You've uh, you've picked up four of your barrels, haven't you? I says, yeah. He goes, they're empty. <laughs> I says, what should I have on it? Chemical waste. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay then. <laughs> so what do I do then? Just come back. <laughs> oh, no. So uh, the thing is, uh, I'll do it at TikTok straight away. Because yeah. I'm just like, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. This, is, this isn't my fault. It's not um, my transport no, fault. No, no, it's no. the people that, you know, are loading it. It's like, yeah. Yeah. but I know for a fact that it wasn't the fault of driver's fault. Because yeah. he got told to put them well, on. Yeah. So someone's mucked up somewhere. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. everyone's trying to blame her. I'm just sat there like it's not my fault. Definitely <laughs> wasn't my fault. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> once, you're right as well. And it's it's this thing in business where you've got to like show yourself as being this perfect. Mm. You know, we never get things wrong. Yeah. You know, we we are satisfied. Nathan was talking about we our pass rates ninety nine point nine percent. Yeah, yeah. I think oh. that's why a lot of people don't want me to do like sponsors for their stuff. It's because it's too real. Yeah, because they know what I'm gonna be like. Like mm. I did. When I first got like, I think it were 20,000 followers on TikTok, I started doing like just selling, like everyone does like being a sellout and that. And uh, I remember getting this dehumidifier thing, this little like, you put water in it, it gives steam off. Oh, okay. And um, I did like a, everyone's like, oh, just say this bite, say that bite, do this and that. I'm like, all right, no worries. So I got it out, put it on, got a recording, put it on there and I broke it. Oh. <laughs> I literally Brilliant. just broke it. I just, uh, Cause I was trying to be like me and just went boom, and it just broke. I oh. uh, so went, well, that's shit, isn't it? <laughs> so that is the word. What do you mean that? Play-Doh? Probably went at it like, do not buy this bag of shit. The absolute rainbow RBG colours, they're still working, but the actual product, shit. Oh, no. I was just like, yeah. proper went off on it. And yeah. then uh, I put it, I uploaded it. I got, I got this for free. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, what kind of advertisement that? I says, any advertisement is it's good, good advertisement. It's yeah. just like, yeah. yeah, but you broke it. I said, I'll make it stronger, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> I've, just, sure I've, just, I've just helped you yeah. and got your loads of yeah, publicity. Yeah, Upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Incoming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, went, he did well. And, uh, Version two on its way. Went, yeah. Actually, he got, when I, like I said, I only had 20,000 followers and he got to about 40,000 views, which looked down really good for me. Yeah. And uh, 
She said, can you take it down? <laughs> like, oh, no. You always take it down? Just take it down. It's, it's not doing as good as you're doing. Oh, fuck it then, took it down. Well, you know what? In the meantime, it's done, it's done you. Yeah, you did me well. Uh, yeah. but 400,000 followers now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, uh, to this day, yeah. uh, 493, I think I am. Wow. Mate, honestly, I, I struggled to get to 200 right. Struggled as hard as my mm. bollocks I did. I uh, got to 200, got the 200K jacket on. And I thought, I'm never going to see mm. like three, four. Never. I, I've pretty much hit my limit now. And it's just, I did that daft video and it boom. Yeah. Oh, it was mental. Yeah. I can't wait to see Angry Dave Universal Edition. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You come near me in that Pharaoh suit, you're having it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Right, it's a, everyone keeps saying, why don't you go like to America or Australia or something like that? Like drive their trucks? I'm like, no. That'd be a cool video though. It would be. Like Dave does the, Dave does the Dave does smart, Canadian yeah. trucking. Dave does ice trucking. <laughs> mate. Oh, that'd be cool. That Imagine is. me, I'd be punching ice for making noises. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> don't <laughs> on me. <laughs> just there. I'll test it before I drive over. Tell you what, your mate is going to feel, he's going to have to do a lot of like editing with microphones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure I've punched this thing like three times now. Like, <laughs> hello, hello. Sorry in advance, Ben. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like it's like when you're playing Fortnite with Mike right up close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, stop, put it down, stop breathing on it. Yeah. By the way, yeah. while we're at it, dickheads getting these, and I've got this little poony thing. Oh uh, right? well, you know, I'm going there. back to you the know. angry me. Yeah, but to be fair, I've already been told off three times during this know, podcast. I need that. Look at yeah. the size of my head. Look at the size of this. <laughs> um, I've been like this apparently the whole way through. So, oh well. Speaking of that, because Jack were on and he had his hat, he's, he always has his hat on, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So I try to give myself an hat. So I bought myself a Dave the Angry Trucker hat. Got it all made just specially for this. Uh, oh, you forgot it. No, don't uh, fit. Oh, oh no. I've literally, I've got an XXL head. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Go. Just Take one of those. Advertisement. Take that, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> you know, we should there's get... no under there, honestly. Look, hey, look at this. <laughs> we should get a party bag with a, and a shirt. You, I've been on Talking Shop Podcast. Yeah. So. Right. It's ridiculous. Oh, I, says, I says, I says, that's what I call a company. I says, do you not do any bigger? It's just why? So you put it on a rhino. Well, let that go on. <laughs> Honestly, it won't. Not a rhino. Oh, no, you got an extender. That's it. No, <laughs> it's not a ratchet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> right, go. no, this is what, look, watch. There we go. Oh, yeah. I honestly, the biggest head on earth. Well, the peak sits inside my head. No <laughs> way. My, my head's there, peaks there. Look, you see? <laughs> yeah. Some bullshit is this. <laughs> Told me dad, I says, what is going on here? My dad's only five foot when you had the size of frigging, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quasimodo. <laughs> yeah, I cannot stand it. Like, Jack gave me his hat. He says, yeah, wear that. I got it on the biggest setting. Yeah. Still on his awesome. head, it looks really comfortable. It looks like snazzy and like a model yeah. and that. And the yeah. I put it on. It's like a pee on my head. I can't wear them for long because I get, I get headaches. I get like real tension. Even if I've got it on loose, I can't wear them for long. That's why so I, I must wear, have a meter. I wear beanies. Yeah. Beanies are much better. They feel yeah, like fatter, yeah. fatter that's them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like a beanie hanging off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be doing with standard flat caps. No, no. Oh, no. Dear. Unless there's anything else you want to uh, tell us, you got anything else coming up, or other uh, than the, the holiday count down the days? No, just you know, doing more shows next year. Nice. Also doing shows this mm. year as well. Um, we need to come to it. Yeah, yeah, we've, yeah, we've what, seen a few of the shows do? you've been at. It looks good what, fun. They're really good. Like um, I'm going to like I went, I went to a few shows this year. They are. When I went last year, before meeting all these, like it can be like you know. This is pretty boring, isn't it? Yeah. But it's because you're not with right people. Yeah. yeah. More of a but, social yeah, thing when, as well. Now, going with them what? It's it good is, fun. Yeah. wild. We can tell by the stories. I thought oh. you, you like got to some... There was one where I was like, you, you like had a few drinks and was got it some shenanigans. Where it, who was throwing something? Um, I can't remember what happened now, but I was in stitches. Oh, did you, that, that gazebo of his. The yeah. he, he, thing is, that he, but all he does, he packs all his... Nave packs all his stuff into his... Uh, his truck. Yeah. He leaves it there till next show. Mm. You know, he brings barbecue and it's got like, you know, seven months worth of <laughs> grime on it. Sausage in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I said, a video of me setting on fire. That was me just cleaning it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was the one where he was towing. He got a tow rope through the gazebo. Oh, man. <laughs> he's, he's, his new driver got stuck so he had to tow it through. So he got his tow. He started towing it. I'm just there like, Mate, you are damaging this gazebo. Yeah, <laughs> this gazebo is going to be bent in half. But end of, on, end of weekend, that gazebo got left there. Yeah. Honestly, it, were, it broke in the middle. Oh. It snapped all corners off. And I was just like, he broke like three chairs, I think, Nave. Oh. He, he needs, honestly, he needs scaffolding. Yeah. He's walking around. With, but honestly, oh. it's, it's what it is. It's because, like I say, it's the people that you aggro with. Nathan and Sean, honestly, them two are just 
hilarious together. Yeah. Jack is a fucking absolute champ. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. You can you can just sit and talk to him for ages. He has so yeah, much. Yeah, good on guy. Him. Mm. Obviously, Jody is really nice as well. Yeah. yeah. And then you got Shannon and her husband, and just everyone everyone you there with is just so funny. And yeah. you're just like, I can sit there and be laughing all day. Yeah. It's like nothing's yeah. going on. I'll be laughing just because Nathan's just pulling a face at me. Yeah, yeah. But the amount of drink taken, I think that should be illegal. <laughs> so I'm just sat there. I'm like, I'm not a drinker, me. I, I'm sat there with like, you know, a Cronenberg or whatever it's called. And I'm just like, you know, sipping it. Yeah. There's them two over there on <laughs> Tiki. He could probably do <laughs> my, <laughs> my body weight and drink in one oh, day. Nathan probably oh, could. Mate. But yeah, it's honestly, since meeting them, like everything's changed. Yeah. I love shows now. Yeah. I, 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 I can't miss them. Yeah. If they go to one without me, I feel right bad. And like, mm. When you're all stickered up with the uh, with the wrap on. I mean, people can't find me at the moment. All they're looking for is the angry DAV yeah, registration because yeah. yeah. they can't afford the E. Yeah. <laughs> so they're looking for the angry DAV. But now it truck up all up and done. Angry uh, DAV would be good. I bet that'd be with Fortune. Gee, when I thought that back in the day, that'd have been good, yeah, wouldn't it? It would, But now I'm yeah. trying to get angry Dave on it. You know, I, went into, I went into her. I says, uh, can I get a registration, mate? She says, yeah, what do you want it? Dave the angry trucker, please. And she went... How many fucking letters do you think I've fit on this? It's a registration plate. This yeah. is what can you fit on? It's just, well, Dave, <laughs> that's on one. <laughs> the yeah. angry trucker. Like angry and then trucker. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, so how much that I got? 25 pound a piece. 100 quid. Yeah. So that's just, no, get angry, get Dave, like, angry Dave on then. So she put angry and then Dave. Yeah. And then she's, yeah. she's there. She's got the E and she can't fit it in. No. So I walked up to her. I went, I'll fit it in. <laughs> just there, you just see me just battering this in. Yeah, I bent her like a, a spray on it. I'm like, it's going in, it's going in. So I'm not paying her 25 quid for a bleeding E. <laughs> it won't go in, mate. It would not go in. I'm just like, ah, I'm angry, Dav, then. Yeah. Oh, so that, everyone, everyone go around, it's like, you're right, Dav. I'm like, it's Dave. Yeah. Just fucking think about it, mate. It's, it's oh, like, people see it, though. They all think straight away. It's like, oh, you're being trained by angry Dave today. Yeah. And they're all like, just shit themselves before they see me. And they see Reg play Angry Dav. It's like, is he eating the E or some shit? Is he that angry? Like, you know, getting truck and they'll be shaking. I'm like, you are right? It's like, you're not angry at all. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Drive. I lost my patience with oh, it. Oh, mate. It's like, I go to shows now. If I'm polite with people, they get, not, they get like upset with me. Yeah. 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 You know, first time I ever went to a show. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, wait, <laughs> make the roar. Do the roar. It's like, first time I went to a show, there were these two kids in front of me. They must be about, what, 18, 19. And they looked around, they saw me and they went, I think that's Dave the Angry Joker. Mm. And I'm like, well, fucking cool for sale, hold on. <laughs> yeah. And every time I got this thing, I, wherever they got the phone at, I'd nick it off them. Yeah. I'd take the picture of me send. I'd be mm. like, proper aggravated of them, like, fuck, I like sake, that. Get, fuck off. Get it. <laughs> and they <another laughs> yeah. love it. And I just, that's the thing, though. I can't get, like, I can't actually get angry with people yeah. now. Mm. I went to this, uh, you know, talking about zombies, when my brother turned 60, I think I told you about this, that then we did this zombie experience thing, world's ending sort of experience. Mm. We're driving down this line. I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest with you, other than don't wear good shoes, wear trainers, because you're going to get chased. And we got there, and I'm in the park up in the car park, and I start getting out, and this bloke starts absolutely screaming at me, get back in your car now. Who told you you could get out? <laughs> I'm like, this is part of the experience. <laughs> you could have been him. Yep. Captain, whatever he was, commander, <laughs> zombie killer, five, you know, 5,000 mm, or whatever. Speaking about zombies and cars, I never took the makeup off on my own. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even kidding around. Driving home from uh, we're up north, <laughs> driving home, fully still makeup up as a yeah. zombie, oh, yellow that. teeth, black and yellow yeah, teeth. Yeah. I, I'm driving. I didn't realize that. I looked at rearview mirror. I'm like, I'm still fucking in makeup here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm driving that road and I looked across and there's this kid in this car. <laughs> I'm just like, God for oh, I've got to fucking do this. So I just went, ooh. <laughs> I'm there driving this car. <laughs> He's licking the window. This kid's there going. <laughs> <laughs> and then mum looks at me and she just goes, fucking crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just driving that road. Probably on me now. Oh, really oh, Every dude. time I got stopped, I'm like, if a cop saw me right oh, now, I'll yeah. tell you what. It's like, yeah. what is wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get out of his car and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> oh, YouTube video. Oh, they should. If zombie get, trucker oh, I'd love just name. get some makeup artist to do, mm. to do it the morning of or the day of or whatever and if you're on or oh, whatever just do the whole day you just fall out the dressed truck dressed up as a zombie that's brilliant <laughs> just like brilliant. open the door and just literally fall yeah. <laughs> literally, literally. I, don't, I don't know Aldi or Little or I whoever you go into yeah. would feel about it uh, but it would be funny well I tried mm. I tried ages ago people get saying I had the same like voice as the Joker yeah and like uh, this is why don't you do like a day of the Joker so I tried mm. it just for like, without recording it and I remember I went to this, uh, I went to a, like a, it were a, a tannoy system. I forget what company it was. 
And I did the Joker thing. So I got in, I got in character for a festival. So I went, I went truck going, Batman, Gotham, Batman, Gotham, Gotham, Batman. <laughs> so I pressed the one. Hello, this is the Joker. I'm here to deliver your goods. Do you have anything that... Apparently this woman just went, will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> this is coming through really fucking loud. <laughs> so anyway, I went in. Because the whole idea is I was going to get all the Joker makeup yeah, on yeah. and like, get the smile and I will just be, pretend that like the Joker's trying to make it straight or something, you know, try yeah. to do it straight, like go back. And, and um, I, just, I just realized how quickly I started annoying people. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have all this for you. Opening door curtains. Oh, take it all, take it all. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not bombs. <laughs> I'm going to make this pencil disappear. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking fault after I was just like, Fuck's sake, man. You guys <laughs> just like get weirder and weirder. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I quickly broke out of character. I'm like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. I well. can't do it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't yeah. mind doing something like that. Like yeah. doing a funny like oh, day yeah. off. I think, yeah. Day I, of the zombie. Because yes. that, that's cool. Because I don't have to yeah. talk and it'll do yeah. well. So yeah, I might do that. Yeah, Reach out to Daff as well. Go do like a I'm angry, trying to get Daff. angry Dave does Daff factory tour. Can you imagine what would piss me off if like, I get all this truck wrapped up nice and neat and Daff say, do you want a new truck? <laughs> oh, I'd be fucking yeah, yeah. fuming. They'd be like, yeah. no, you can keep your new daff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm we'll, have, we'll have to have a word with uh, yes. people we know. Pelican. Do you want a new daff, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, won't, I, won't, I, I love my truck. It isn't, it's only an 18 plate, but I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you spend mine. your life in these things, you do become. It is your house. Yeah. I mean, people yeah. don't understand that. Like, you know, people are like, why are you taking your shoes off? You know, mm. why are you leaving? It's like, this is living my living here. room, you know yeah. what I mean? What? This yeah. is my bedroom, my living room, my kitchen, it's everything. Yeah. Mm. It is. And so it's I, like our company cars. The reason they are so damn clean inside is because them. you spend your life in them yeah. and you yeah. d- don't want to sit in a dirty, horrible car. No. My, my early, she drives me mad. She's in our car 15 minutes every day and it's a state. <laughs> <laughs> She's shedding blonde hairs everywhere. Mm. She's got wrappers everywhere. Yeah, empty drink bottles on the floor. She, oh, God, she's driving me mad. Oh, I, I had this, uh, this new kid. He didn't, he didn't get a job. Because of me, <laughs> he got in. And first thing he did, I said, right, we're off to whatever, we're off to Manchester. All right, no worries. First thing he did <gasps> on dashboard, oh, yeah. No. And he's got his our yard is a disgusting mess. Yeah. Oh, so I can imagine. dirt on freaking dash. And I just I looked over and went, all right, we're gonna just pull over two minutes. <laughs> Pulled over, got into his side, grabbed his boots, took them off him, and threw him out the door. Yeah. I says, That's now brilliant. clean that fucking dash yeah. and then get out of your boots yeah. and then put them on, take them off yeah, and put yeah. them on the fucking thing. He's just like, yeah. why are you being like this for? He says, you don't understand, mate. This is yeah, my this truck. This is my truck. Yeah, so exactly. I've got to clean that when you get out because you're not going to do it. It gets personal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he um, can, yeah, he can. It's like, especially like, yeah. I had this one person who put her gloves on my fucking bed. It's like, she just threw her gloves on my bed. I'm like, I sleep there. What are you fucking doing? Yeah, that's my best. So I know, I know it doesn't seem that bad, but mm, it you know, does, yeah. you, you've been touching chemicals all day. You've yeah, been doing yeah, whatnot. Yeah. And you said, you need, that's my bed, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know. It's like when an Asian driver, they used to have a truck. And then you'll, you're getting a truck and you realize your pillows are the wrong side of bed. And you're like, <gasps> this motherfucker's been sleeping in my bed. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and you're oh. like, wait, that's coming out. Let's <laughs> get yeah. that washed. Oh. Uh, nah, yeah, I've stopped. Yeah. Uh, I've stopped renting it out of my truck now. My truck is my yeah. truck. Yeah, well, if anybody it, drives it, I can, I can see why. You yeah. Know, yeah. It, it, I had one guy who took it out. You'd be the same, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Well, yeah, yeah. They exactly. don't, don't like it. We used to have a guy who used to work. They used to be exactly the same as me, mm. but probably worse. And he kept it pristine, clean. Like I, everything barring the driver's footwell is clean. Yeah. Like everything you can eat off of. But uh, he was the driver's footwell was clean, mm. kind of thing. And uh, you don't like driving them. You just like I, if I do anything yeah. at all. So yeah. I'm going to get stick for this. Yeah. And I was and he's saying when people drive my truck, they'll, they'll call me. No. <laughs> I'll be off. Like, I'm surprised someone called me today. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, you know, I'm driving your truck. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So, so, I'll probably use stuff up back seat. Yeah. I'm like, all right, no And I'm currently eating a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All flakes <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. 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 Eat that outside. Yeah. <laughs> I see you'll see on that motorway. Yeah. <laughs> Out window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Good. Thanks for coming in, mate. I've enjoyed it, mate. Yeah, enjoyed man, it. I'm sorry en- I haven't been as We've angry. enjoyed the stories. It's so, funny as well meeting you when you watch your TikToks. It's quite, it's quite weird when you surreal. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. I've, seen, I've seen this guy <laughs> in my like a few yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people don't don't realize that I'm not as angry in person. No, I can be if I want to be. Yeah, like fuck this, I'm gone. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody did say that to us, didn't they? Was it? I can't remember who it was who came on and was like, was it Ash? Was it? Who was saying, yeah, you're not angry. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. I hate people that say that. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's not angry. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. I am. I'm just telling you to see him. Yeah. 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 I just yeah. don't want to be angry. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I could have walked off and I found this mic being this fucking small. Like, don't get me on fucking <laughs> yeah. stand. I'm like, Fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> so, mate, you have to do that again. Yeah. Touch the mic. <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed the episode with um, Angry Dave or Dave the Angry Trucker or whatever, Richard. <laughs> make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, again let us know who you want on the next episode thanks for watching